Well, we got another headset here, so we can get you on. And if you want to you know, feel like you got something to add, is he going to be up here too? Yeah, Rob is their normal play by play. We weren't sure when we came down. Now that was all worked out, but it's worked out fine. All right, this is Rick Phillips for CampusNation.com, the sports animal, your home for high school and college sports, and also WZAA 106.9 LPFM in Jeffersonville, Ohio. 
We are on the campus of Cincinnati Christian University, and they are taking on Ohio Christian University. Uh, and you've probably heard that name a few times since they are one of our sponsors of uh, Campus Nation and WZAA Sports and Programming. But anyway, uh, we are here tonight for the men's final. Uh, that'll get underway in about uh, just a little over 17 and a half minutes right now. And uh, we're not going to turn this back to the studio. Uh, we'll continue to roll here with the, uh, with the uh, video and with our audio. Uh, and also, if you want to see the video live, just so that you're aware of this, it is available on the Cincinnati Christian website. Uh, they have a live video, which we are feeding our broadcast, the broadcast that is currently just being audio televised or, or over the air as far as audio on Campus Nation and also uh, on WZAA. If you want to see tonight's live video, you can go to the Cincinnati Christian website and their stretch internet uh, is being fed by our broadcast. So our audio, our cameras, our everything is the same as you're hearing it, only audio and video live on the Cincinnati Christian University website. First game was an interesting game. Uh, Cincinnati Christian at times had a nine-point lead or more, and uh, Ohio Christian just kept chiseling its way back, and finally uh, they prevailed. But uh, we want to remind you that the video from tonight's games, both games, will be available Friday, Saturday morning this week on the Campus Nation website. So if for some reason you're not going to look at the the video live uh, on the Cincinnati Christian website, you can always catch it on demand on the Campus Nation website uh, Friday evening, Saturday morning. We'll have that video. uh, and, And I'm not sure... All right, so just got word. Now, the video on the uh, Cincinnati Christian website is live, and there is no charge for it. And, of course, there will be no charge to uh, to be able to, to to do the video on demand on the Campus Nation website Friday and Saturday mornings uh, when we post those in case you can't get to maybe a, a screen tonight or to their website. But as I said, this game will get underway in about 15 minutes. And... Uh, that uh, the final from the uh, first game, I think I've got the stats here. 56-53, Ohio Christian over Cincinnati Christian. Very good game, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll have at least uh, a similar game in this second game, the men's game. Got a full complement of crew tonight. We have our two cameras, uh, and we've got uh, some uh, newbies that are uh, learning the rope, so to speak, as far as the broadcast. uh, A couple high school uh, young men, and uh, then we're also uh, uh, fortunate to have uh, Cincinnati Christians uh, play-by-play announcer, and he will be doing the play-by-play as well in the second game. So we'll be underway here in about another 14 minutes. Uh, Stay tuned. CampusNation.com. You're home for high school and college basketball and college sports in general. And, of course, WZAA 106.9 LPFM in Jeffersonville, Ohio. Begin the next step of your life at Ohio Christian University, one of the nation's fastest-growing nonprofit universities. Earn an accredited associate, bachelor, or master's degree entirely online or attend class once a week at one of 11 convenient locations. Programs range from business and human services to IT and RN to BSN and more. Call today, 855-OCU-GRAD or on the web at enroll.ohiochristian.edu. Take a ride on the Jeffersonville Airplane. Follow the White Rabbit 106.9 FM, Jeffersonville.
I'm going to let him stay over here, and then if he's got something he wants to add so we're not tripping over each other, I told him to tap me, and I'm going to let him make his comment now, so we're working on it. New starting lineup. This is number 10 for Cincinnati Christian right there. Glory ranks in the country in all those categories.
I told Wes to work his way around. He's going to come in here. He's young. And welcome back to Jill Rendell Court alongside Bill Rayback and Wes Ketter. My name is Rob Roberts as we get you ready as Cincinnati Christian University welcomes in Ohio Christian University for a little Tuesday night hoops action in downtown Cincinnati. And let's see if the uh, the boys can follow up the ending that the girls just had as Ohio Christian came back from down 11, down 9 at the end of 3 for a dramatic 56-53 victory. That was a great game, uh, you know. Something that you didn't see coming happened at the end of that game. But as we talked about, you know, it was one of those games where Cincinnati Christian just couldn't seal the deal. And, of course, then uh, they opened the door for Ohio Christian to come back and win it. We'll see if the boys have a little bit more success. Well, that game was low scoring. This game's not going to be. CCU loves to get up and down the court. They're 31st in the country for points four at 85. But they also give up 87 points a game. On the other end, Ohio Christian comes in scoring 73 points a game on their own. But they like to give up 80 points as well. And we have two, a uh, couple of the uh, higher scoring players. And for CCU, it all starts and ends with Blake Walsman, one of the best players in the country. I said pound for pound, one of the top five players at this level. He comes in averaging 21 points, 13 rebounds a game. I don't care what level you are at. You, are at, you put up 21 and 13, you're a ball player. Yeah. You're, if you've got that in the NBA, you're an NBA all-star. So, as you say, that's one of the best in the the country. And then on the other end, uh, we look at Hartman as we're going to step aside for just a second uh, for the prayer. As we get back, as Hartman, uh, a double-double machine himself, averaging 10.5 points, 9.8 rebounds. Also fourth in the country, averaging almost three blocks per game. That's going to be an interesting battle with uh, Hartman v. Uh, Walsman. Yeah, and, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing that as far as, uh, you know, when you get two great players like that, 
usually one of them is going to set the tone and make the difference in the game, and I would not expect that to be any different tonight. Also for Ohio, Christian Hearn comes in averaging 18.6 points uh, per game, but then CCU, they also have a couple players that can fill it in. Pat White, very streaky ball player. He comes in averaging 18.7 points uh, per game. And then they follow him up with some Kobe Brown. Comes in averaging 12.9 points uh, per game. A nice 1-2-3 offensive scoring punch for the Eagle offense. Their problem is getting defensive stops. Yeah, and, but it's tough. You know, if you can, you've got three guys putting up double figures like that. Uh, and, you know, I'm looking at Ohio Christians averaging 72 points a game. They're losing by an average of eight points a game. Uh, they're going to have to have some answers tonight, or Cincinnati Christian's going to – they might break the clock today. Well, Cincinnati Christian, uh, uh, earlier this year, they have a couple 120-point outburst games. They enjoy getting the ball up and down the floor. But when you can get them into a half-court set, that's where Coach Miller's squad sometimes can get a little bit frustrated as they're definitely a, a transition team, but they're a young team. And sometimes it takes a younger team uh, a while to learn how to play in that half-court set. And, and I would agree with that. I think the, we saw with the girls, if the boys are anything like the Ohio Christian girls, uh, the half-court set is what they wanted to do, and they deliberately slowed down the game. Now, um, I would say, and I have not seen either of these teams – but you know that guys' basketball tends to be a little bit different. I think girls, uh, you know, watching the NCAA games, they tend to be a little bit more fundamentally sound. And I think the thing is, is the girls stay around for four years. Uh, with the guys, they don't. And then, of course, at this level, the guys are going to stay around for three or four years. So we should see some good fundamental basketball, I would say. And for the starting lineups for the Eagles, they're going to go with White, Cologne, Walsman, Brown, Patterson. For the Trailblazers, they're going to go Hearn, Vaughn, Johnson, Winley, and Hartman. And Hartman wins it over Patterson. Patterson, a new addition to the lineup as we're going to, Pat White's going to get a, a nickel dimer to start the game off. But Patterson into the starting lineup instead of Noah Ochin, the freshman out of Indiana, who usually gets a start as number one. But Coach Miller looking to uh, mix things up coming off that loss to Brescia. Uh, a game that his squad would like to have back as Johnson swings uh, over to Vaughn. And there's a deep three ball, too strong by Winley. And there's Blake Walsman. Walsman with the bound. He gets 13 of those a game, but for anybody that follows uh, CCU Athletics uh, throughout the season, they know Walsman. He's capable of 20 and 20 on any given night, and he's done it a handful of times this year. And Walsman has it. Walsman's he wants a three. A three. A little too strong, but you see the range as Hartman picks up his first rebound of the night. Nice three in transition by Hearn. That's why he averages 19. Nice three-pointer, deep three-pointer. As Pat White swings it around, Patterson has it tipped away. Pat White, an offensive machine. You see wow. why right there. He averages 19, but he's got an offensive skill set that few have. Nice drive, switch the hands. Johnson, finger roll too much. That's going to be out of bounds. Dead ball rebounds. Got knocked out of the hands of Blake Walsman. Walsman, the uh, the junior out of Virginia, out of uh, Batesville, Indiana. As Cologne, a new starter oh, in the Scissors lineup. Play. Patterson oh. has it blocked by Hartman. Hartman Great. went up hot, strong. Great defense by Hartman. Hartman's a player from South Africa. Might be a player to watch in this game. Too strong on a three, offensive rebound, no, rebound Patterson. Hartman, fourth in the country and blocks it. A little over, uh, th under three a game, and that's why you see there Kobe Brown, lefty, oh. too strong, rebound, Winley, he hands it off, Vaughn, or Hearn, quickly to the lane, floats it back, oh, Hartman, he got nice it. alley hoop. And Hartman, he gets a hoop and some harm. Listed as a 6'10 sophomore, can play center and forward. A lot of versatility, and both these big guys run the floor well, Rob. Yeah. Uh, Cologne picks up the foul. That'll be his first. It's going to be. It was going to be an interesting battle. And I kind of think that's why Coach Miller went with Patterson, kind of trying to body up Hartman, so that way he doesn't uh, use uh, Blake Walsman and have to use up extra energy trying to guard him. Is now. Ohio Christian comes out with some token 2-1-2. Two, two. A little trap action there. 
Patterson, though, hands it off to Kobe Brown. Kobe Brown, one of their streaky shooters. He had his average up to about 16 points per game right before Christmas break, and now that's down to 12 and a half for the young sophomore. Pat White, he wants to triple. He got it, and when Pat White gets going early, you better watch out. You better start getting a hand in that young man's face. He scores in bunches. Nice shot by White. As Vaughn hands it off to Hearn, screen near side for radio listeners. Ohio Christian moving right to left. Ooh. Nice runner in the lane. Hearn has a quick five. Ohio Christian comes in with the blue on blue, silver trim. CCU in that home white on white with the purple trim, purple numbers. The logo on the front is an eagle. Cologne, also a new addition to the starting lineup is Blake Walsman. Showing his handles off, being guarded by Hartman. Cologne into the lane, missed Ooh. too strong, nice rebound. And here come the Trailblazers. The drive. And that's a bad pass as Johnson just got stuck too deep under. Tried to throw it around, but it was just a little too strong, unforced yeah. turnover. And CCU gets the ball back, trailing eight to five here in the early going. Yeah, so far, CCU hasn't been able to get the ball to Walls. No, just as I say that, they get it to him. Uh, As Patterson, 15-footer in and out. Pat White, he's got seven. The Eagles nice have seven. Nice rebound by White. Pat White averages 19. Well, he's on, he's on pace for about 56 <laughs> right now. Nice oh, take nice. into the lane, up and in. For Winley, his first two of the night, he averages seven and a half. Cologne quickly comes back. This is the up and down pace we spoke about yeah, at the top. Yeah, definitely a fast pace at this point. Walsman against Hartman. Good defense by Hartman. Yeah. 16 10 to go. Hearn has at the top. He's looking for a three. Oh, in my and goodness. Out. Rebound. Walsman, he's already got two. Hands it off to Cologne out across the timeline. Over to Pat White. White's feeling it. He got in and out. That was heat check. That was a heat check three. That's what that was by <laughs> Pat White. He's already got seven. Yep. Hartman got the board. Yeah. Hartman's been a four so far. Vaughn, he wants a three. That's too strong. Yeah, Blake Walsman, he already has three rebounds, and we played 421. Yeah, Walsman uh, backed Hartman out off the block pretty well on that. You can see the respect that Hartman has for uh, Walsman as well, giving him that three foot on the line, and Patterson traveled. Unforced turnover is yep. higher. Christian's going to make some changes as Geig and Inman check into the lineup. And you already have Hartman with the hands on the hips, and you got to wonder with how active Blake is, is, this, is that going to wear him down come second half? Well, and that's the thing with big guys. The conditioning is going to wear one of them out, and that's going to, yeah, as we talked about in the other game, that's a lot of times going to show in the second half. Hartman with the screen, gets the ball, shoots. A little bit short on the baby hook. Pat White with the offensive rebound. Now he's pushing it back for the Eagles, hands it off to Cologne. Cologne faked the hand off the Wallsman, trying to get something set inside to Patterson. Instead, there's going to be a foul on the floor. That's going to be Inman's first. I noticed, Rob, they rotated uh, Walsman up to the top of the key on that, trying to bring Hartman from underneath the basket. So we'll see if that becomes a new philosophy in this, uh, this set of offensive plays. As Pat White has it. you got to wonder if Walsman is going to wear him down that way and Hartman is going to wear out Walsman physically on the block as Walsman for three. He got it. Nice job by Walsman. And I think maybe that's going to be the way they're going to get Hartman from underneath and force him to play defense out there. Well, he's given the respect factor on that first step. He's given him three to four foot as sure they throw a back door oh, to man. Hartman. The little baby hook, no, rebound. Walsman, he's got four boards, and now he's going to push the pace himself. Takes he it to takes the hole. straight to the hole, and oh, he got it. Plus one. The hoop and some harm. And that's a huge first foul on Hartman, but Blake Walsman showed he could put the ball on the floor as well as the Eagles. They're on a little 6-2 run and take a two-point lead. And that was about the only place that Walsman could put that ball, and he got it in there and, of course, picked up the foul. It's not a very easy thing to do to score inside like that on a person who's 6'10". <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
Walls been at the line, not going to jinx him the way other people have this year at the charity stripe, but he's already got six. As Strong Mosley checks in the lineup. Wait till you see this body on number 15. He's just a freshman. He went locally to the other school that wears purple on the other side of town that I don't mention <laughs> because they're a rival with Oak Hills. But when he learns what to do with that body, Strong Mosley is going to be is going to be a force as Vaughn. It's going to be a player. Too strong is, is you can see all the athletic ability that Strong Mosley has as he's posting up on the blocks. Cologne has it. Swings it over to Tim Abel, the freshman. Back over to Cologne, over to Pat White. White puts it on the floor and in the lane, has it stripped away. Nice defense there by Winley. And that's going to be out of bounds. They say he stepped on the sideline as Hartman gets a breather. Yeah, Hartman's the first first one of the big guys out, and maybe he is getting tired chasing uh, Walsman up and down the floor. The one thing Coach Miller in that motion offense, it always has moving pieces. Yep. As Strong Mosley has it along the far side. Gets it over to Cologne. Cologne sets the offense with 13.40 to go and a half. CCU 13, OCU 10. Sean Mosley with the set screen. He can shoot the three ball as well as Cologne goes oh, lefty. High off nice. the glass. Cologne. Nice, nice switch and off the glass with the left hand. He averages two. He has two. Of course, coming in off the bench will be C.J. Henry. Henry, one of the top players in the country, an assist to turnover ratio at three to one. Walsman already has five rebounds. He takes it straight to the hoop, and he's fouled. The hoop and some harm. Well, no hoop, but and that will be got a lot of harm on that one. Winley's first as Noah Ochen will check in. That means Cologne will check out. 13.07 to go. Walsman's going to shoot two. He already has six points, five rebounds. Trying to keep his averages up there. And he gets the first. As actually, Pat White checks out for uh, Noah Ochen, checks into the lineup. As they go with the two-guard combo set. Two of the smaller guards is Walsman. Misses that one. He's two or three at the line. He has seven points. 13 minutes to go and a half. Six-point CCU lead. They're on a 10-2 run. Winley has it. He wants to square up for a three Ooh, ball. He, he got does. it. He's got five. He averages seven. Could it be Roar 2.0? Cologne out across yeah. the timeline. She averaged 1.4. She scored 12 <laughs> points all in, in the fourth quarter yeah, in that last game. Walsman on the block. Oh. Strong Mosley moved. And good hustle coming back by Geig. He has it along the near side. Three ball, too strong. Rebound, Tim Abel. Oh. Going to for a travel. Yeah. Maybe a double dribble, but not a travel. That was a nice idea by Walsman down there is to try to kick it back out for the open three, and he zigged when he should have zagged. Well, Strong Mosley does average five points a game. Nice turnaround jump shot there by Johnson. His first two of the night, and it's a five-point run by OCU. Strong Mosley's had a couple of multi-three-point games, uh, three-point field goal games. As Walsman has it along the near side. Tried to draw the foul, didn't get it. Now Cologne has it. Reinforcements getting ready to check into the CCU lineup, as is Monday for OCU. Tim Abel has it along the far side, inside 12 minutes. Fade away, the freshman rims in and out. Rebound comes out to Guy. Now they're going to push it with Johnson. Over to the far end, Woods. Back over to Johnson. Swings it over for a three ball. Too strong by Guy. Tim Abel with the rebound. You know, a nice uh, a side note on Ohio Christian is their uh, coach, Coach Stockman, played for Thad Mata at Ohio State and was the freshman of the year in the ACC when he was at Clemson before he transferred to uh, the, the Buckeyes. Quick jump shot, no. Rebound, Walsman. Geig was just too long as Cologne. Now brings it up as we approach the 11-minute mark. Henry getting ready to check in for him. Patterson getting ready to check back into the lineup. 
16-15 in favor of the home Eagles. Cologne off the screen from Walsman dumps over Abel for three. He got it! Nice. Tim Abel, when he's aggressive, he scores. Trying to get himself out of a midseason freshman slump. He averages five and a half. Over on the far wing, Johnson. Ball fake on Noah Ocean. Kicks it back out for an Inman three. Two strong. Rebound strong, Mosley. Wow. Mosley was up there on that one. You see, you're right, Rob. If you He's, look at him, he looks the part. Yeah, definite, definitely an athletic kid. Oh. As that was tipped out of bounds, and it's going to stay here. And we got a media timeout on the floor with 10.31 to go as CCU on top, 19 uh, to 15, as we're going to step aside for 30 seconds. Begin the next step of your life at Ohio Christian University, one of the nation's fastest growing nonprofit universities. Earn an accredited associate, bachelor, or master's degree entirely online or attend class once a week at one of 11 convenient locations. Programs range from business and human services to IT and RN to BSN and more. Call today, 855-OCU-GRAD or on the web at enroll.ohiochristian.edu. Okay, we're back. And hey, welcome back to the broadcast booth alongside Wes Kidder and Bill Rabick. My name is Rob Roberts and... Little uh, high scoring affair, 1915 already going in. We kind of expected that game that's going to be in the 80s. That's the, the, the tempo that CCU wants. Uh, they want to use the, uh, especially somebody like Walsman and Pat White that can fill out the, the wings. Ohio Christian, they want to score too, but they kind of want to do it a little bit on the slower end. Yeah, I agree. And when you look at the, and that makes sense because they have the big kid Hartman, and uh, rarely is the big kid the kind of kid that wants to get into that running game. So I think they're going to try to protect him by getting him into a half-court game. Um, and Cincinnati Christian, I think they're going to be perfectly happy to run the ball up and down the floor. And as you said, Rob, 19-15, about midway through. So we're on pace for a, an 80-point outing by the, the Cougars. When you have a young team like CCU, a younger team that's easier to play in transition because that's basically what you play in, in high school is Johnson dumps Hartman it into Hartman. Strong Mosley came from the backside, able to get it deflected as Patterson checks in for Walsman. Noah Ocean has it along the near side. Hands off Tim Abel. He's going for back-to-back -back triples, too short. Rebound Johnson. He's pushing the pace for the Trailblazers. Moving right to left here with 10 minutes to go in the first half for our radio listeners. Take Strong Mosley. Mosley blocks oh, it. That's off the back. Yeah. And that's going to be over to the Eagles. Strong Mosley. Hardy with two blocks on back-to-back -back possessions <laughs> for the Elder Grad. Great play there as he blocks it. And then it goes off the Ohio Christian player. C.J. Henry now in the lineup. Currently fourth in the country, three assists to every one turnover. That's a that's a stat line you like to have as a head coach. Yeah, Strong Mosley now has it top, hands it off for Tim Abel. Ball fake. Nice V cut there. Patterson over to Henry. Working off that screen at the top. Henry, oh, 17 three. footer, two strong rebound. Hartman, he's already got three of those. Johnson has it across the timeline. 19-15 Eagles. Swings it over to the far end, Mundy. Working Henry off the dribble into the free throw line area. Lays it up for Hartman. Yeah, I think that was an alley-oop that never ooped. Vaughn back into Hartman, covered by Patterson. Quick baby hook, too strong. Rebound, strong Mosley. Strong Mosley with a solid few minutes off the bench. Nice job keeping Hartman away from the bucket. He's tried a couple little short hooks, but hasn't had a lot of success with it. Nice move by Henry. Back over to Abel, puts it on the floor. Over to Patterson, 17-footer. He got it. He averages three. He has two. And Eagle lead at six, as big as it's been all night. And that's going to stay here. Nice job, though, by Henry, able to tip it away as White and Brown check back in the lineup. And for CCU to be able to extend this lead to six with White and Brown on the bench, that's huge for Coach Miller's squad. Yeah, I agree. And my apologies to the Cincinnati Christian uh, University for calling them the Cougars. <laughs> Why I did that, I don't know. But anyhow, the Eagles. Rebound comes out to Kobe Brown out across the timeline. Kobe just 0 for 1 from the field, oh, and he's going to turn that hand over, hand and it's going to stay. Nope, they're going to say it went out of bounds off of Kobe Brown. 
8.29 to go in the half, 21 Eagles, 15 Trailblazers. And the nice thing is Walsman can get a little bit of a break here as he's coming back in, but those few minutes here and there are going to pay off down the stretch. Pat White with the step, can't finish, rebound Vaughn. Nice drive by White. Johnson now, quick three in transition. He got it. Johnson's got five. He averages 10, and just like that, he cuts a deficit in half. It's now 21-18 Eagles. Out across the timeline is Henry, standing on the C and CCU logo right in front of the Ohio Christian bench. Tops it over to Strong Mosley. Over to Patterson. He squares up a three ball. Oh, he Patterson, got it. yes. He's got five. Downtown shot there. He only averages three. I agree with Pat White on that one as they were able to strip Hearn, but they're going to get Patterson on his first. Wallsman in the lineup. Strong Mosley checks out as we reach a timeout on the floor. The timeout comes with 7.37 to go. It's a full timeout by CCU, but as you just said, though, when Blake Walsman's able to go to the bench and you're able to maintain and extend the lead a little bit, that's that's – Double is good if yeah. you're Coach Miller because yeah. you're stealing minutes. Yeah, you are. And and that was a good stretch for the Eagles as they were able to give Walsman a break. And he's going to come back in fresh. And probably I would imagine they could ride him through the rest of this half. And, uh, you know, look, extending that lead. And, you know, uh, for those listeners who didn't hear the first game, Rob and I talked about, the 10 point lead being that just a horrible situation because you're not quite far enough away to relax, but yet, you know, you get that false sense of security. And we saw that in the, the girls game. And, you know, we're getting into that range here where you're starting to get out to that eight, 10 point lead. And if, if the Eagles can make a run, they can put themselves in a nice situation going into the half. The difference between the Ohio Christian men's and women is if CCU gets up 20, they have the ability to hit threes and get back into the game where right. we felt if the girls got down 15 to 20, they really didn't have much of a chance getting back. I think they only attempted a couple threes the whole game. They just didn't have that outside threat. No. The men, on the other hand, if you look at, at Hearn, Johnson, Winley, I mean, right there's three guys that can get a couple triples in a row got and keep it going. Yeah. Same thing on the other end. CCU falls behind. When you got Pat Wright and, and Blake Walsman, you can score in bunches, and, and that's the difference. Right. As Hearns comes off for a three, too strong. Blake Walsman rebound. Ohio foul number Hartman's got two. You got to believe he's done for the half. And that can be a point of concern if, if Hartman picks up another – Picks up his third foul. And they didn't take him out. They didn't get to the scores table. If I'm CCU, Walsman's going right at Hartman right now. Yeah, I would agree. And that's who they give it to on yep. the block. And that's a foul, and that's Hartman's third. Wow. That's a game changer there because now you're probably not going to see him for the rest of the half. Well, you would think. But the one thing, Winley, though, checking in, Winley, Winley's a little bit more athletic. He can guard Walsman a little bit more one-on-one -on -one out on the three-point line and then Hartman, but Hartman is able to clean up any uh, anybody that comes through the lane. The thing that, about Walsman is that, you know, he can play a five-man, but then he's got the abilities of a three-man. And he can play some one and two if you need him to. Exactly. Too. So that's what makes him a tough matchup for anybody. And I think that you see Coach over there talking to Hartman along the far side. I think what he's saying is, hey, let him have the bucket. It's a layup. I need you on the floor. I can't keep you on the floor with three fouls. Be smart. Know where you're at. Time and possession. And as Wes had said, he's from what is West South, South Af Africa, yes. So, you know, you wonder what his background with basketball is coming over from uh, South Africa. There's Hearns, too strong. Backside rebound. Vaughn. Pat oh, White with Pat the steal. White. And now White into the lane. Finger roll. Just a little too strong. Patterson wanted the back door hoop. Didn't get it. But Pat White's going to the lane. The tell, you line, what, too. tell you what, the New Orleans Saints could have used Pat White there on the last play of the game against the Vikings. Oh, man. <laughs> and then Hearn <laughs> picks up his first. That'd be big foul trouble, too. Now yes. they're starting to mount up yep. for uh, Ohio Christian. They already got six fouls. We still got 6.54 to go and a half. And Pat White, oh. I was I was thinking the jinx. I said he's pretty automatic at the line. That uh, You were thinking the jinx. <laughs> 
That hit about every part of the rim possible. On I've, that one. I've been doing this long enough. I, I, yeah. I, I know how to jinx people. <laughs> <laughs> Comes with the territory. You know, they got to blame somebody at home. Yeah, that's true. That's true. 25-18. Keep it 25-18, and you won't see Pat White missing free throws like that. Back-to-back. Seven-point lead for CCU. The largest for either side. Walsman already. 8.7 rebounds for the All-American candidate. Nice move by Winley. He has seven. He averages seven. It'll be interesting to see if uh, they'll try to get Walsman the ball. Nice goes. move oh, by Pat White. White. Underhand scoop. That is beautiful. He's got nine. Got those two points. Yeah. Reverse layup. Nice play. When Pat White gets going, he's, he's hard to stop. There's a deep three ball. Oh, got it. NBA nice. three there. Woods tripled. Is that Curry Big on answer. the back of that jersey? What's that? Is that Curry on the that, back of that jersey? They look like Curry on that. Pat White into the lane. Spin move. He oh. got it. Pat White already in double figures. He's got 11. Pat White's warming up. And what that does is that opened up Blake Walsman even more. Another three ball. Hearn. Wow. He's got eight. And all of a sudden, it's just a shooting gallery with 552 to go in the half. Yeah, just like that. OCU's, I mean, right back in it. And let's see, the three point percentage Ohio Christian is shooting 36%, and Cincinnati Christian 33% on well, the season. Not today, but Ohio Christian does average 10 three pointers made per game. That's 21st in the country. And then on the defense, um, they made 168 threes. And then on the defense, the opponents only shoot 44% from three-point land, which is 43rd uh, best in the country. So sometimes you live and sometimes you die by that three-pointer. Yes, you do. We see a lot of teams in the NCAA tournament go down that way. They go a long way on the three, but if you have that one bad night. Look at all those talented Kentucky and, and Louisville teams that just Absol came up short. Absolutely. Absolutely. C.J. Henry back in the lineup. He hands it off to Pat White. Back over to Henry. Working on Hearns. Already has a foul. Tried to get him to pick up the second, but Hearns, smart D, did not pick it up. They have a chance to tie here. Johnson's looking for that chance. Oh, he got it. Nice shot. He's right got there. eight. He's got Another two triples. Step. Is that three straight three-pointers? And that's our first tie of the night. Pat White over to Henry. Over to Brown, working on Hearns. Into the lane, kicks it over to Henry. Oh. Ball's loose, and right back comes Johnson for the Trailblazers. Dumps it in near side, up and under. Rebound, Blake Walsman. A little out of sync there was Woods. Maybe forced it when he didn't need to. Now it's going to be Walsman. Over to Pat White for two. Steps into it. He got another one. He's got 13. <laughs> this is a three-point shooting contest here. Walsman will get the rebound, just give it to Pat. Yeah, yeah, let Pat hit it from the top of the key. And then lane goes Johnson high off the glass, and we're tied again. And the one thing, though, when you get vice versa, Walsman gets it going, it's going to open up White and Brown. You get White going, it's going to open up Walsman. And when they both get it going, CCU can be a tough squad as Henry squares up for a three. No. Backside ball is loose Ooh. on the floor, and that's going to stay here with 4.22 to go in the half. Nice effort by Patterson. As the Ohio Christian University calls a timeout. It, we are tied for the third time tonight. We've had three lead changes as well. As uh, Pat White really putting on a clinic here in the uh, first half. Take away there's two uh, missed free throws. He hasn't missed anything else. No. He's, he's had a nice game. Um, you know, Walsman is having that silent but deadly game. You know, it. But when you look at the stat sheet, you're going to see him in there with 10 points and six or seven rebounds and say, wow, where did that happen? But, you know, he just uh, – he's smooth and efficient, and those are the kind of players that you sometimes miss. He's, he's got eight points, eight rebounds. Right. I mean, just right there, he's, on, he's already on pace for 2020. 20, 20. Right. Um, but – they got another two years of them before they have to worry about trying to fill them. But when you guys guys got like Patterson, who just uh, recently rejoined the team, and uh, Strong Mosley's that are freshmen that you can build up, right. it's, it's good to have that depth. And that's the one thing behind Hartman you don't see Ohio Christian have is just that big man that can come out 
when you have a Wallsman that can extend in while Hartman can bang you, they don't have that athletic big, and that's where uh, CCU is able to uh, exploit other teams sometimes. Is he, uh, Blake Wallsman's a matchup nightmare. Right. Rob, do both of these teams play in the same league? Yes, the, River States. The River States League, okay. As Abel swings it over to Noah Ochin, he thought about his first attempt oh, yeah. of the night. Noah Ochin averages almost nine points per game. He's one of their streaky shooters. Pat White, heat check, oh. too strong. Rebound, Guy, as it comes across to Johnson. Thought about the three. Nice move inside and an easy layup for Winley. Winley He's got nine. a nice quick move there. And it's back to a two-point lead. They've led it by as many as five as the Trailblazers. Pat White into the lane, high oh, off the glass. Nice. He's got 15. He's feeling it. He's, he definitely is. Hearn trying to answer back. Guarded by Noah Ochin. Up and under. He got wow. it. Hearn's having himself a nice game That's here, right. too. He's got 10. As we have three players already in double figures, 35-33. As we still have 320 to go in the half. Tim Abel dumps it into Blake Walsman on the block. Here comes the double team. Back over to Abel. He goes up for a three. Two strong oh. rebound. Winley. Johnson out across the timeline. Now has it top. Works it on Cologne in the lane. Oh, Johnson and takes it to the hole. Cologne's got two. And now Johnson's going to go to the line. Try to make this a two possession game with 304 to go in the half. We almost need free throws so we can catch our breath. Yeah. Well, it, it, and as you promised, Rob, it was going to be a up and down type of battle, and that's what we've seen here in the first half. Well, we went from one extreme in the first game where it was more slow, run yep, half yep, court sets, yep. to this is just, you know, it's like you're playing at your local community and we're running <laughs> up down the floor. As Johnson gets them both. Yeah, this is definitely. He's got 12. Definitely has that playground pace, and, uh, you know, it's great for the fans. I mean, that uh, gives coaches heart attacks, but uh, as far as fans are concerned, you know, it's exciting back and forth, and you get the three balls thrown in, and it, it makes for a, a fun basketball game to watch. It's a four-point lead for Ohio Christian. Their lead, largest lead in the night has been five. CCU's led by as many as seven, and when CCU led by seven, you pulled out the jinx and said they were on that verge where it could go one way or the other. And Ohio Christian has done a very good job of answering right back on this little 10-point swing. Yeah, they've had some players come up with some timely baskets. Um, uh, Hearn has, has, I think, played an exceptional game for them. And, uh, and right now has been the difference. And they really haven't missed Hartman too much. Which is kind of funny, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, it... It kind of works out because Winley's able to guard Blake Walsman out on, out on, out on the wing. Right. And Walsman was exploiting Hartman because Hartman had to give him five to six feet. And if you give a guy like Blake Walsman five feet, nine times out of ten, he's going to make you pay for giving right. him that space. Right. So it, it kind of works back uh, almost against CCU to a, to a certain point. But on the other end, though, they miss out on that opportunity of Hartman where he can back down Walsman and Strong Mosley and Patterson and get their front court right. into foul trouble. So sure. it's kind of a give and take. Where it helps on one end, but then it hurts you on the offensive end, especially a guy that can block shots and grab the amount of rebounds that Hartman does. He only has three, uh, three rebounds to go along with three points. Very right. quiet first half. Yes, yes. Cologne gets it over to Pat White along the near side, guarded by Vaughn, over to Tim Abel, back over Pat White. White already has 13 in the first half. Cologne now has it on the far, far lane. Over to Blake Walsman, working on the double team. Drops it over to Tim Abel, throws it up over his back. Ball's oh. loose, no call. Abel wanted it, but he's not going to get it. Johnson now pushing the tempo for the Trailblazers. Winley for three, short rebound. Blake Walsman, he has nine rebounds to go along with eight points already. With 2.25 to go in the half, 37 Ohio Christian, 33 Cincinnati Christian. Dumps it into Blake Walsman, goes up, misses it. Can't get his own rebound as nice. Hearn picks up his dribble. Nice lead pass in, but just couldn't finish. Johnson again, another one. Wow. He's got 15. You <laughs> might want to get a hand in that guy's face. 
They have been on fire. When you're in transition, you might want to pick up certain people, and he's one of them. It's a seven-point game. Just like that, the score flips. Walsman now has it, gets pushed off the block. Over to Cologne for a three. Nice the lefty short. Oh. Rebound comes over to Windley. Nice skip pass. Found the open man, but just didn't capitalize on it. Johnson out across the timeline. We're inside 90 seconds to go and a half. 40-33 in favor of the visiting Trailblazers. Johnson has it along the near side. Vaughn, he wants another three. Too strong. Rebound, Noah Ochin looking to push the pace for the Eagles. He has it along the far wing. Over to Cologne. Cologne, Tim Abel. Abel squares up a three. Forced at three. And that might be an offensive foul on Blake Walsman, and it is. I think he's just a little frustrated about not getting that ball down on the block. I think Abel kind of rushed that shot. Yeah, I think so, too. They, Abel could have took another dribble on that and tried to get a little bit more of a screen. But, but you know, they've... they've Players get feels for things, and uh, it, right now it just doesn't look like the flow is going for uh, Cincinnati Christian. 40-33, Ohio Christian with the lead. Johnson has it just inside the timeline, working on Cologne. Gets it over to Hearn, who already has 10 points tonight. Free throw line extended, too strong. Rebound, backside Woods. Throws it back out to Johnson, 50 seconds to go, fresh shot clock. Hand guarded there by Kobe Brown, right in front of Jill Rendell Court. Johnson now into the lane, drops it back over for wow. Woods and just throws it out of bounds. And CCU, if they want to do a quick, they might get a two for one with 39.2 seconds to go. They could really use a basket to close out the half here, Rob. Patterson having no problems gets getting it in, gets it into Kobe moment. Brown. Brown forces it, and he gets it. That's okay. his first two of the night. That's Walsman wanted the backdoor route but didn't get it. That's what CCU needed there to slow down the uh, Ohio Christian onslaught. There's about a half-second difference, so the shot clock remains on. Hearn is going to hold for the final shot. He already has 10 points tonight. As Coach Capel will join us at the half, from CCU, Hearn getting guarded. Walsman now on Hearn. He takes it into the hoop at the buzzer, and he got it. Hearn finishes the first half with 12 points. Nice job. And they have a 42-35 lead at the half, does Ohio Christian. If Ohio Christian holds on to this lead or adds to it, they could get their first away win of the season. They're currently 0-8 on the road. Yeah, and, uh, you know, the way uh, they've played, of course, you know, Rob was talking about, you know, you live by the three and die by the three. If they continue to shoot like this in the second half, uh, Cincinnati Christian will have a tough time getting back in. The shots, the shots just kept falling for them towards the very end of the half. That almost everything they put up just fell. Yeah, and you got to believe that that, will, that always balances out. As Coach Capel uh, from CCU is, uh, he's he's going to uh, join us real quick uh, at the half as uh, we get his thoughts on a very uh, uh, a tale of two halves. There for you guys come out, you guys get the early seven point lead, but then Ohio Christian's able to battle back, and now they have a seven point <laughs> halftime lead. Uh, yeah, I mean we we really let it go on defense uh, at, there at the second part of the first half, but. Uh, uh, if we can get it back, you know, on the defensive end, get a little more effort, a little more talking, uh, we should be all right. Blake Walsman was able to get it going early, eight points, nine rebounds, but really couldn't get anything going once Hartman got in, got into foul trouble. How do you free him up there in the uh, in the second half? Uh, yeah, we got to really uh, focus on getting him the ball, getting some when he gets it in the post, get some cutters off of him, so so they can't really help so much on, on defense. Uh, if we can do that, if we can really, uh, we really need to pay attention to Blake down in the post. And not really like jack up threes or 
or be impatient and, and let Blake work a little bit in the post and cut off of him. Speaking of jacking up threes, you know this team on Ohio Christian can make a lot of them. They make 10 a game, which is 21st in the country, and they really hurt you from, from downtown in that first half. What do you guys got to do defensively to kind of uh, maybe uh, slow them down a little bit? Yeah, I, I think we got kind of lucky in the first part of that half. They, were, they weren't hitting so many threes like they normally can, uh, and our, our defense was still kind of lackadaisical, uh, but they just started making them, making them in the in the second part of that half. You guys with eight turnovers in in that first half. Uh, how do you guys uh, kind of slow down down that pace? I know Coach Miller's going to harp on that at the half. Oh yeah. Oh, well, we we kind of had we've had talked about that a lot uh, in practice and stuff, and we just need to take. Uh, better uh, care of the ball and, and really emphasize each possession. I think sometimes we may take possessions off or may think it doesn't doesn't really matter, but but each possession matters and, and we need to treat treat it treat it like that. What's the uh, one thing you guys need to do in the second half? Uh, you know, like Nike said, we just got to do it. You know what I mean? That's all right. I just stay out of the kitchen. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. All right, thanks, Coach Capel, to joining us at the half as he as he does for uh, CCU uh, home games. Uh, as we appreciate that for the uh, guys uh, streaming, in, uh, streaming in uh, on ccuathletics.com, uh, as we call Coach Capel's words of wisdom at the half. I, I love it. I love it. But, uh, I mean, he, he basically laid it out about limiting the turnovers. They got, they got to do a better job of guarding the three, yeah. and they have to get Blake Walsman the ball in the block. There's no reason that he only has eight points, nine boards. He had his first eight points within the first ten minutes, yeah. and then the offense just kind of went away from him and. I'm not sure that it needed to go that way. I mean, Pat White did his, but outside of Pat White, I mean, Walsman should have got his touches. If you want to get them in trouble, what you're going to have to do is get the ball into Walsman, let him take it to them, and they'll start fouling and get in, into a situation where they're going to be a little more deliberate in what they do. And at this point, the way they're shooting threes, uh, like you talked about, if they're going to have to push that perimeter a little bit and, and force them to pass the ball a bit more because they're getting too many set shots and getting some nice looks at the basket. So I, I think that would be the defensive adjustment I would look at. And as you said, offensively, uh, you just get the ball to Walsman and, and let him create, and, uh, you know, everything will take care of itself. And then on the other end for Ohio Christian, Christian once Hartman got in trouble, all of a sudden that team just started playing different, really opened up the offense I, I agree. a lot more. And- <laughs> you almost wonder if they're not better off. Just uh, using him as a sub in the second half because it's yeah. working against an up-tempo team like CCU. kind of offsets that because uh, Winley had had himself a decent first half with nine points. He only averages seven on the season. And it forced, you know, what it did is it forced Ohio Christian, uh, Cincinnati Christian, to get into the same kind of game that uh, Cincinnati Christian plays. And it worked for them, like you were talking about. They got Hartman off the floor. They didn't have to slow things down. And, of course, the way they were shooting, they were able to run the floor really effectively. Uh, an exciting game in the first half. I think uh, really pretty well played on both sides. Uh, so we'll see how the second half plays out. But uh, uh, Cincinnati Christian will have to make some adjustments to that three-point game. And there, before we get you out of here, for the half for CCU, White with 13, Cologne with 2, Walsman with 8, Brown 2, Abel 3, Patterson with 5. You add that all up, that's 35 points yep. for the home CCU Eagles. For Ohio Christian, Hearn with 12, 15 for Johnson, 9 for Winley, 3 for Woods, 3 for Hartman. You total that all up. And that gives Ohio Christian a 42-35 a lead at the half. We're going to step aside for a few minutes as we give, your chance, uh, give yourself a chance to grab some snacks and some cold ones and get you ready for the second half alongside Wes Kittler and Bill Raybank. My name is Rob Roberts. Once again, our score at the half, it's Ohio Christian 42, Cincinnati Christian 35 as you're listening to NAIA Basketball on CampusNation.com and 106.9. WZAALP, Jeffersonville. Begin the next step of your life at Ohio Christian University, one of the nation's fastest growing nonprofit universities. Earn an accredited associate, bachelor, or master's degree entirely online or attend class once a week at one of 11 convenient locations. Programs range from business and human services to IT and RN to BSN and more. Call today, 855-OCU-GRAD, or on the web at enroll.ohiochristian.edu.
106.9. My radio. Begin the next step of your life at Ohio Christian University, one of the nation's fastest growing nonprofit universities. Earn an accredited associate, bachelor, or master's degree entirely online or attend class once a week at one of 11 convenient locations. Programs range from business and human services to IT and RN to BSN and more. Call today, 855-OCU-GRAD or on the web at enroll.ohiochristian.edu. And, of course, we are live here on the campus of Cincinnati Christian University with the uh, Eagles and the Bears, and uh, or the uh, Trailblazers. And uh, we uh, have about five and a half minutes to go before we start the second half of the men's game. Uh, been a very competitive game right now. Uh, the Trailblazers are leading the Eagles 42-35 to 35 by seven points. But the score has been back and forth this first half. So we certainly invite you to stay tuned and remind you that not only is this video uh, available on the Campus Nation website Friday and Saturday as far as the women's game that preceded this uh, and the men's game tonight, but also that uh, it is live on the Cincinnati Christian University website on Stretch Internet. So our feed, our camera feed, our audio feed, the game feed, it's all coming to you live if you want to tune into the Cincinnati Christian University website and catch it there. If not, it'll be on demand. Uh, We'll probably have a ladies game posted Friday and the men's game posted Saturday. But I want to remind everybody, now uh, I uh, heard uh, from earlier the in, as far as Wilmington girls, the Wilmington girls went down to defeat earlier tonight at the hands of the Carroll Patriot women uh, by two points. So that must have been a great game uh, there at Wilmington High School. And uh, tomorrow on Campus Nation, we've got uh, some games. I'm going to bring it up here on our website so that we can uh, uh, go over the games that we've got coming up here on Campus Nation. Tomorrow, I think we're going to Miami Trace, or we might have Wilmington High School boys basketball, but uh, our Internet access is... uh, is what we're waiting on as far as the web page to come up. Maybe I can pull it up faster on my phone with 4G. So those are, they've got, uh, I guess they've all joined a new league. And uh, we talked to that guy today. So we're trying to get something hooked up. Rick's big on the finding the niche sports, you know, the things that. Uh, it is. When I did, uh, All right, here, here we've got the uh, the website uh, so that I can go over this. Uh, okay, we've got girls' high school basketball tomorrow. Greenfield McLean, the Tigers face the Miami Trace Panthers, and our broadcast time will be 6:30 tomorrow evening. And uh, then we've got uh, girls' high school basketball again. Clinton Massey, the Falcons come in to play the uh, Lady Hurricane, and that will also be a 6:30 broadcast start. And this Friday, we've got uh, two events. We've got a game between the Greenfield McLean Tigers at the Miami Trace Panthers game starting at 645. And also the Wilmington Hurricane host the Batavia Bulldogs. That game's going to get underway at uh, our broadcast time should be 7. The game, uh, we've got it on the site at 730, but the game broadcast actually starts at 7. And the game time, the the tip-off will be 7.30. So that's what's coming up through Friday. Then on Saturday, we've got uh, girls high school basketball, the Ottawa Glandorf Titans at Miami Trace Panthers. And that's an 11.45 a.m. broadcast start time. We also have uh, women's college basketball, the Heidelberg Student Princes at the Wilmington Fighting Quakers, a 2.30 uh, starting time for our broadcast. And then that evening, we've got boys' high school basketball, the Chillicothe Cavaliers against the Wilmington Hurricane, a 7 o'clock broadcast time for Saturday evening. So a lot coming up between now and Saturday on CampusNation.com, the sports animal, your home for high school and college sports, and also WZAA 106.9 LPFM. You'll have to look at our website to determine some of those games, whether they're broadcast both over WZAA and Campus Nation or whether they're over just one or the other. We're going to get underway here in about a minute and a half now, so uh, 
We'll be being, bringing you back to live action here shortly. Welcome back to the broadcast booth as we get ready to start the second half here from downtown Cincinnati as uh, Cincinnati Christian currently trails Ohio Christian 42-35 at the half alongside Bill Rayback. My name is Rob Roberts and a very uh, up and down first half for, for both squads, but there at the end Ohio Christian was able to get it going from uh, way downtown yep. and uh, really get back in this game. Well, it's, an, it's been an exciting game. Um, it's been a game of runs like you would expect in basketball. And, uh, you know, the, the way it's going, it, it would appear it would be Cincinnati Christian's turn to have the run now. Patterson inbound. It gets over to Cologne. Same starting five for the Eagles as we thank you for tuning in to CampusNation.com 106.9 and also streaming on CCU Athletics. .com as well as Blake Walsman. And Hartman just picked up his fourth. Oh. As we said, that might – we don't know if that's good or bad because um, Walsman's had better success in the game when he's been in there with Hartman. Walsman was eight. He was three of five from the charity stripe in the opening half, 42-35. And he gets the first. All right. Nails the second, gets a rebound. He's already got a double-double. Be interested to see what Coach Stockman does if he's going to make a move here with the Hartman, and it, it doesn't appear like it. So he's got four fouls. Hey, sometimes you got to let people learn how to play with foul trouble, and that's what he's going to do. You do. I mean, otherwise you're looking at sitting them for at least ten minutes. As Hearn in the lane drops it off for Hartman, kicks it back over to Winley, puts the ball on the floor. As for our radio listeners, moving left to right is Ohio Christian. Good box out there yep. by Kobe yep. Brown on the back side. Very good box out. Always a good box out when the ball hits the floor. Pat White has it into the lane. Back over to Patterson into the lane. Throws it to the left. He, nice he job by it. Patterson. Good drive to the hoop. He switched got, over, went left, and took it to the hole. He's got seven. It's a 4-0 run here in the first 55 seconds as Ohio Christian, still looking for the first bucket of the second half, dumps it into Hartman. Working on Blake Walsman. Turn around, he got it. A little baby turnaround hook, and he's got five. Yeah, looks An like official little, timeout. Looks like there's something on the floor. A little water or dust over there. So, uh, you know, I, I would say at this point, uh, Ohio Christian, I don't think, you know, I, I would question maybe some of the philosophy coming out where you were having success with what you were doing and to switch it up, uh, you might pull the plug on the juice, so to speak. As Walsman now has on the wing, Cincinnati Christian moving right to left with the white on white, purple trim, purple number, CCU logo on the chest. As Walsman step back, drops it into Patterson. Back over to Kobe Brown for three. Too strong. Rebound, Vaughn. It's a nice kick out to Brown. Ohio Christian with the blue on blue look with the silver numbers. And Ohio Christian written on above and below the numbers. Deep three ball, no. Rebound, Cologne. Now CCU's wanting to push the pace a little bit. Hands it off to Pat White, who had 13 in the first half. Steps into this two. He got another bucket. Nice job. Start calling him Pat Buckets. Yeah, there you go. The line drive by White. 
as Vaughn now has it near side, guarded by Kobe Brown. Three-point lead for the visiting Trailblazers. Into the lane goes Windley. Step back, 17-footer, no. Blake Walsman now, double-double. Double-double, and nice job there defending Ohio Christian that time down. Patterson hands it off to Pat White. 44 visitors, 41 home. Oh. Patterson misses the bunny. Boy, what a nice dish by White. Patterson's going to regret that one. You have to finish the wide open layup yes, as Hartman kicks it over to Winley along the near side. Kicks it back over to Johnson. Johnson at 15 in that first half, including three from downtown. He gets caught up over to Winley. Working on Pat oh, White. Pat nice White with the steal. White. He was trying to get it into Hartman, but Pat White had other, other ideas. As White steps into a three, too short. Rebound Hartman. He's only got four rebounds to go along with five points. Johnson now has it top of the key. Hartman oh, nice on, on a bad give and go. <clears throat> able to lay it in. A bad communication there by the CCU transition defense. Yeah, sure was. Back up to a five-point lead. They've led by as many as seven as Ohio Christian. Give Ohio Christian credit, though. That was a great pass on the inside to Hartman. Kobe steps back. He wants a three ball. That's long rebound, Hartman. As the Trailblazers looking to build upon a five-point lead. Hearn into the lane. Misses the wow. layup. Blake Walsman <laughs> rebound. Well, it happened on both sides, Rob. Easy baskets that should have been points for both teams. Kobe Brown drops it back over to Patterson into the lane, and Hartman had to let him go. He's got nine. He averages three, and it's back to a three-point deficit for the home Eagles. Nice job by Patterson to make up for that one that he should have had the, the last time down. Johnson has it along the near side. Working on Cologne, picks up his dribble over to Hearn. He wants a three ball. That's short. Rebound, Blake Walsman. Leads the fast break, puts that one up, nice. and he got it. Coast to coast by Walsman. And he wanted the plus one. He's not going to get it, but he's got 12 and 12. He does that enough times, he's going to pick up some of those. Wide open, three Windley. ball. He got Ooh, it. Nice job. He's got 12, and it's back to a four-point game. Pat White, he goes to answer a triple. He yes. does. He's yes. got 18. 49-48, Ohio Christian. These team answer, they answer each other in, in bunches. They do. Johnson being guarded by Cologne. Hartman mm. on the screen. Oh, little drop. And there's going to be a foul on Kobe Brown. And for Brown, that's his first. Nice conceived play by Ohio Christian, dropping it inside to Hartman. Hartman's going to, looks like he's going to get a little break here. That's uh, Even in the first half, he went straight to the Gatorade. Had to get the water in the system. Yeah, yeah he did. 14.55 to go in the game. 49-48 Ohio Christian. Hearn working on Patterson. He's stuck. Kicks it over to Woods for three. Too strong. Rebound Patterson. Hands it off to Cologne. They're on a three on four coming back. Gets it over to Abel. Abel dumps it into Blake Walsman. <clears throat> Walsman working on Guy. Up oh. and under on the reverse. A reverse layup. Nice job. Walsman by Blake with Walsman. 14 points. Starting to warm up, Rob. When he wants to take over a game, he can, and right now he is. Hearn into the lane. He got it. Nice shot by Hearn. His first two of the second half. Little teardrop shot. That's our seventh lead change of the night with 14-10 to go. Strong Mosley getting ready to check back into the Eagle lineup. Cologne working on her. Patterson comes out on the screen. Cologne with the take, misses it. Rebound Woods. Right back come the Trailblazers. Now they're looking to push it. Into the lane. Oh, nice. Good nice hustle defense. defense. Yep. Noah Ochen. Ochen came out of nowhere to knock that out of bounds. Of course, he's the freshman out of McCordsville, Indiana. They say he weighs 181 pounds. You look at them, he's like about a buck shy of about 105 pounds. <laughs> yeah, a little slight on the frame. Wood swings it over to Winley, back over to Hearn, who already has 14 points. He had 12 in the first half. He's looking for a three. He got it. Wow. Hearn 
Yeah, if they they don't want Hearn to start to warm up again because if he it's going to be tough to stop him. He even had a, a hand in his face. Oh. He had a hand in his face from Strong Mosley, but it didn't deter him at all. No, not at all. As Cologne turns it over on an unforced turnover. The thing that Hearn's doing well is when he gets his screen, he's getting the ball off, and he's he's not letting defenders get their hands up and too close to him, and he's getting some good looks. CCU with the 30-second timeout, and I think Coach Miller just kind of uh, trying to kill the momentum there a little bit. A run, a, a bad turnover by Cologne right in front of the bench. Like he got uh, mixed up where he was going to call a timeout or pass it. It just got caught in no man's yeah. land. It was an easy yeah. travel call. And I, and I think, you know, that's you want to, like you said, you want to cool Ohio Christian off a little bit because they were starting to get into that flow again. And you definitely don't want to get into that uh, three-point battle. Hearn inbounded right next to the Coach Miller on that CCU bench. For you guys listening home from our vantage point, we're set up just to the right of center court here at Jill Rendell Court on the campus of Cincinnati Christian University on a balmy five-degree outside <laughs> night. But the action is heating up in here with 13.25 to go. A warm Ohio Christmas or a January night here. Makes you want to move south. Yeah. Earn off the screen. Geig for three. Short rebound Cologne. As CCU looking to push. Strong Mosley now has it. Hands it back over to Cologne. Over to Noah Ocean. The Indiana product. Hands it off to Tim Abel. One Hoosier to another. Walsman fade away. Oh. No, but he's going to go to the line. Yes, he is. A little push there. And that's going to be a foul on Windley, his second. If they can get Winley in trouble, Ohio Christian's going to be in a, a real bad way here. Walsman at the line. He's got six in the second half. He's got 14 for the game to go along with 12 rebounds. Is Pat White ready to check in the lineup with 12.59 to go as Walsman gets the first. He's three of three in the second half, six of ten for the game. Yeah, and if Walsman uh, can start getting some points in bunches, it's going to help the, the Eagles come back here. Ohio Christian over Cincinnati Christian. Walsman with eight in the second half. He's got 16 for the game, along with 12 rebounds for the All-American candidate. I know I'm biased, but there's no reason he shouldn't be a first-team All-American. He's got some numbers to back it up, and that always helps. Oh, Nice hands there by Noah Ochin. Goes to the floor. Tips it away with 12.45 to go. Ocean was sprawling all over to try to keep that from going out of bounds. C.J. Henry checks back in the lineup, 32, replacing Cologne for the Eagles. As Woods checks out of the Ohio Christian lineup. Johnson. Pick and roll there. Gets it back out top to Mundy, who just checked back into the lineup. He played a couple minutes in that opening half, did not score. He averages five oh, and he half, lost it, it over. Here comes Pat White. Yeah. And now we're going to get a foul on Monday. Yeah, Monday just grabbed them when he went by. And very fortunate. They didn't call that an intentional foul. Anytime you got a breakaway and you call a foul, they can call that an intentional. Uh, yeah, and it, it looked intentional, no doubt about it. But, um, yeah, that was just kind of a, a bad series there for Ohio Christian and, and good for the Eagles. Let's see if they can capitalize on that. Henry has it along the far end, looking to tie this game up. The lefty high off the glass. Henry, his first two of the night. Nice drive by Henry. Gets a high arcing shot off the glass and made the most of it. Guy's going to try again. He got one. Say he shoots enough, he's bound to make one. His first three of the night, he averages seven. And it's an eighth lead change of the night. Ohio Christian back up by three. Henry over to Pat White. And they're going to get Strong Mosley on an offensive illegal screen, his first foul. And that's where Strong Mosley 
catches yeah. himself is he gets himself into a lot of foul trouble, and that's kind of stunning his growth a little bit. Yeah, and, you, you know, you could tell by his, his facial expression. He didn't really – I don't know if it was either a great act or he just really didn't understand what he did there. And that comes with experience. You he, know? Went, he went to Elder. He knows how to act. Yeah, well, that <laughs> – that, that could have a lot to do with it. So, you know, if your high school coach has taught you well on that, you can get away with that. But uh, uh, my elder fans, they love me. They, yeah. they know they know my Oak Hill ties. So it's yeah. a it's it's a good banner. That's a good West Side rivalry here in downtown yeah. Cincinnati uh, between Elder and uh, and Oak Hills. But 57-54, uh, CCU has battled their way back in this yeah. game. Trailed trailed by as many as uh, seven points. But they've done a good job here in the second half, and, and a lot of that they've got Blake Walsman back in. He's got eight points here in the second half. Yeah, and, and Blake is starting to exert his his presence, which we expected earlier in the game. But as we said, there's been a lot of a, a lot of strange situations that really hasn't allowed Walsman to get into a flow, and we're starting to see that now. And again, you know, Hartman's got four fouls, uh, Winley's got two, so. You know, they cannot afford to get their big guys in trouble or else that's going to dramatically change the course of this game. And that's the one difference that now that CCU's got they got Patterson back is that they can go deep with strong motion. They, then they got Patterson and yeah. they got Walls on that, on that front line to go along with Pat White and Kobe Brown. Now those guys are not asked uh, to do as much on the wing, and it, that goes a long way. Yep, yep. For sure. As Bundy brings it across the timeline, 11.45 to go, three-point lead for the Trailblazers. Johnson hands it back off to Mundy, back over to Johnson. Johnson's been quiet the second half. He had 15 in the first half. That's who has it along the far, and he's guarded by Henry. He's oh, nice into the lane, and it's just short. Gets his own rebound, up and under. He got it. That was just nice determination there by Henry. I mean, he... He missed it. He got it. Put it back in, and uh, that's all you can ask from a player is to give you that kind of effort. Henry, that short rebound. Pat White, White he's for three, oh. too strong. Backside rebound. Johnson. Now he's pushing the pace, and No. Ocean's going to pick up a nickel and dimer as he got in the way. That's his first. Team third. Yeah, this. Uh, Important set here for Cincinnati Christian. They're looking at a five-point deficit right now. And they're rotating the ball around. As Johnson now has it along the near side. Hartman still out there. Fake the screen. Johnson, that's going to be a foul on Henry. Got to call that one, and that's going to be his first. Uh, again, a nice drive by Johnson to the hoop. and He's feeling it right now, Rob. And Johnson with 17 points, 15 in the first half. He's going to look to get a couple more. He averages 10 points. Yeah. Must just be the uh, the presence of the media, but all these people tonight <laughs> outperforming their stat sheet. Yeah, yeah we have definitely seen some uh, unusual performances from in both games where you didn't expect some people who were the scorers to produce like they have. It must be a socks. If we get a chance to zoom in on them puppies. <laughs> They look like a set of fruity pebbles or something. <laughs> as Noah Ocean has yeah. it over to Patterson. For sure. Pat White dumps it into Blake Walsman. Walsman can get rid of Hartman with one move. Yeah, and right, this is a bad, that was a bad situation for Hartman right there because that could have easily been the last play for him. Seven to go on the shot clock. Noah Ocean in the lane. He got it. Wow, nice drive by Ocean. Noah Ocean cuts it to a five-point deficit. His first two of the night, he averages eight and a half. Yep. Guy has it. And they're going to get a trap. They're going to say he slid his pivot foot. And that's a big turnover Thanks, against Ohio yeah. Christian with 10.08 to go in the game. 61-56 Ohio Christian still on top. Yeah, that was a big turnover there. Henry out across the timeline as we approach the halfway point of the second half. Patterson hands oh, it up to Henry, wide play. open into the lane. He got it. Nice scissors play. Henry capitalized on it. Great drive to the hoop. 
Ooh. Henry able to poke it away from Johnson, but he gets the ball back. Johnson now goes baseline, throws it back over to Hartman. Nice. Misses the bunny. Wow. That's going to be out of bounds off of Walsman. As he battled Patterson for the loose ball, it goes out of bounds with yeah. 940 to go in the game. Hartman just missed the little baby hook. And, you know, he's been out of the game so much, Rob, that it looks like he's just kind of out of sync. Not to mention some good defense there by Cincinnati Christian. Hearns into the lane, drops it back over to Hartman, and Blake Walsman with the steal. Drops it over for Pat White, has it blocked from behind by Geig. Uh, that was a good play. And he gets it right back. He oh. lays it up and in. He's got five all in the second half. And there's a steal by Hearns. 17-footer. He got it. You better wow. get a timeout, yeah. Coach Miller. Seven-point lead for Ohio Christian. and, and Quick 4-0 run. Yeah, and uh, that was a nice job by Guy. As he just ran the court well and finished hard. And and when you do that, good things are going to happen for you. Steal oh, by White. Pat White. He got it. Big play by Pat White. He's got 20. He averages 19. Nobody picks up Monday, and he got it. His first three of the night. And it's an eight-point game. Largest of the night for the Trailblazers. 8.35 to go. Henry with the ball. Steps back for a three. Banks it, but no good. Rebound Monday. And that was a, that was a forced three there by yeah. Henry. Guy back over to Johnson. Guarded by Noah Ocean. 8.20 to go. 68-60 Trailblazers. You know, one thing, when Johnson gets on that outlet, uh, they've – They've got to start picking up higher because he's getting too deep and he's creating defensive problems for him. Hearns with the take. He's got nine in the second half. He's the leading scorer in the game. He's got 21 points. And it's now a 10-point game, largest of the night. Blake Walsman has it. Hands it off to Noah Ochen. Gets it into Blake Walsman. They're going to get a foul on Monday, and that'll be his second. Some subs here for Cincinnati Christian. I'm surprised Coach Miller didn't call a timeout to get those subs in there as he wanted to get the ball handlers with uh, Kobe Brown and Cologne into the game. And yep. instead we got a timeout on the floor by Ohio Christian. But surprised Coach Miller didn't call a timeout to get his subs into the game and kind of try to slow this thing down uh, because it agree. went from 3 to three to 10 in a matter of a couple minutes. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I think at that point you just need to get everything settled down Get a you know just a few words of encouragement and try to get everything uh, going the way you want it on your offensive flow and I, obviously uh, there's got to be a spark, Rob. Someone's going to have to step up and and make a couple defensive plays and nail a couple shots to get the flow going back to Cincinnati Christian. Then on the other side, uh, Ohio Christian. I mean. Th- they looked so so dormant the first three yeah. to four minutes. Yeah, they did. And then the last six to seven minutes, all of a sudden, Hearns hit, Johnson's hit, and uh, Hartman had a couple buckets. And it was just a three-point. Mundy hit a three. Winley hit a three. We already said Hearn had a three. Guy hit a three. I, they all of a sudden, they just come and spurt. They look well, like a totally different team. Well, you know, Johnson, when Johnson is able to get out on and run with the ball, he gets so deep into the basket that he causes the the Cincinnati Christian defense to collapse, and he's getting good kickouts. And if they don't collapse, he's taking it to the hole, and they've got to figure out a way to cut off Johnson at midcourt or else they're going to have problems with that the rest of the night if they don't uh, address him. Ten-point lead for Ohio Christian, largest of the night, 7.46 to go in the game. Three timeouts left for CCU, four left. For the Trailblazers, Pat White has it along the near side over to the Cologne, has it at the top, hand off Kobe Brown. Brown trying to dribble at the top, picks it up, gets it over to Pat White. Ten to go on the shot clock, drops it in for Patterson, turns around, lays oh. it up, and that's a late call. Wait to see which one they get it on. They're going to get it on Johnson. That's his first. Nice and play. I don't blame him. That, that was a, not that it wasn't a foul, but the delay and the length that it took to make the, to call, make the call, I think, yeah. is why Johnson was a little upset. Yeah, I would agree on that. And, uh, you know, Patterson, he takes the ball to the hole. 
He looks a lot better than a three-point-a-game score. He is 10. Yeah, and he doesn't always have the greatest results, but he's getting the ball up on the rim, and, you know, when you do that, anything can happen. Patterson looking to get both of the charity stripe, and he got them both. CCU perfect in the second half of the line, six of six. Only missed three in that first half. I mean, missed uh, four in the first half. Wow, Pat White. back to the hole again. As Hearns quickly answers back. And Hearns has just been, yeah, we've had no answer for Hearns tonight. He's got 11 in the second half. He's got 23 for the game. Patterson has it over to Pat White. Pat White picks up his dribble. Now he's asking for help. Gets it over to Kobe Brown. Into the lane. Brown, spin move. No, rebound. Windley. Hearns out across the timeline inside seven minutes to go. Wow, nice crossover dribble. 12-foot fadeaway. No, Ooh. rebound. Blake Walsman. He's got 13 of them to go with 16 points. But like the first half, Walsman gets a quick eight, and they just don't give him the ball the rest of the way. No. And I mean, you got to get the ball into him and... And he got it. There you go. Just as we say that, down Almost to an eight a, point. Should have been a plus one, you could yep. argue. Yep, yep. Monday gets it up top to Johnson, and really this Ohio team goes as Johnson goes. Really good leader yeah. there at the point guard position. Yeah. yeah, Johnson is just. And he got it. Johnson's got a great first step, which makes him difficult to defend, so. You've got to give him a little bit more room. He averages 10. He has 21. As Monday's going to pick up another foul. It's his third. Monday's picking him up in bunches here. Hey, he must have made sure he hits the stat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> well, as they say, you can't take him with you. So, 6 11 to go in the game. And CCU will be in the bonus the rest of the way. One and one for the next three fouls, and they'll be in the double. As Patterson checks out of the Eagle lineup. Woods checks back into the high of Christian, and that's a foul on Vaughn, his first. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what Vaughn was thinking on that one. Very fortunate that wasn't an intentional foul when you bear hug a guy. Yeah, for sure. Great if you're in the UFC. Not so great if you're <laughs> playing college <laughs> yeah, basketball. Yeah, you're exactly right. And, you know, Pat White, uh, it done a great job tonight. Um, he's really kind of been that answer for Hearns, but we, we haven't been able to put enough together with Pat right now to – to offset the difference. Pat White over two at the line. He's got 20. He's got 21. He averages 18.7 points a game, but you can see why he averages 19. Yeah. yeah. Same way you can see Hearn on the other end. That Yeah. They can just... They want points, they can go get points. Really very similar players, although they're built differently, but they, they have similar kind of games. Misses the second, just one of four at the line. As Johnson with another take. He's got eight in the second half. He's got 23 for the game. It uh, remains an 11-point game in favor Upset Trailblazers. Walsman has it on the block, and they're oh. going to get a foul. And that's a good hard foul on Windley. His third, make him earn him at the line. That's a good hard foul with 5.45 to go. And with Windley picking that up, you know, now both their big guys could be getting into that. Uh, three for Windley, four for Hartman. Yeah. As Hartman's getting ready to check back in, and they might give Windley a break for a minute or two. But you also have that luxury when you have a 10-point lead. I agree. Where you can steal minutes. Yes. And, you know, the thing here is take the ball to Hartman, get him out of the game, and then force them to bring uh, Winley back in. Now we're going to have a timeout on the floor as Guy checks out for Hartman. It's a 10-point game. Walsman now with 17 points, 13 rebounds. Not a bad afternoon for the All-American. No, and, you know, he's he's doing what he needs to do. And, of course, Pat White is – put together a nice game too uh we just we haven't finished on a lot of plays though rob you know we've had opportunities on inside baskets where we've thrown the ball over the top of the hoop or hit the bottom of the hoop and we just haven't had great accuracy inside that five foot you know range but on the other end winley he's done a good job as well he's got 12 points almost double his average 
but he's also been able to kind of neutralize Blake Walsman on the edge where Walsman was having that advantage over Hartman. He doesn't have that same athletic advantage over Windley. Yeah, yeah, and, and you're right. It's, uh, you know, Windley is a different type of player, and you almost wish you could have them reversed where Windley had the four fouls right now because they would be better off if uh, Windley was taking that break then you look at Hartman and just how different this offense looks when he's he's on the bench. A, a, a really high-scoring team is. Uh... I agree with you. Let's take a quick break here as we get towards the end of the game. Be in the next step of your life at Ohio Christian University, one of the nation's fastest-growing nonprofit universities. Earn an accredited associate, bachelor, or master's degree entirely online or attend class once a week at one of 11 convenient locations. Programs range from business and human services to IT and RN to BSN and more. Call today, 855-OCU-GRAD, or on the web at enroll.ohiochristian.edu. As Blake Walsman gets them both, he's got 12 in the second half. He's got 20 for the game. He averages 21. But his team trails by nine. Johnson has it along the far end. Hands it off to Vaughn. Back over to Johnson. Dumps it in to Winley. And they're going to get him on a travel. And that's a turnover with 5.31 to go. But CCU's at the point where they can't be wasting possessions. Now I think that what they chose to do here is keep uh, Winley and Hartman in because we see uh, you know Blake starting to warm up a little bit. And I think they want... As Pat White's going to go to the line, Vaughn is going to pick up his second. I think they want that answer for, for Walsman, and uh, their most successful lineup is to have Winley and Hartman out there at the same time. Pat White just one of four from the charity stripe. He's made everything else that he's basically thrown up tonight as he buries that one. He's got nine in the second half. He's got 22 for the game. And White, second shot. Misses that. Two for four of the line in the second half. As now CCU is trying to extend the pressure out just a little bit. Got to pick up Johnson high on this. He's been killing us. Hearn has it. Hartman comes out, sets up the screen. Comes it back into Hartman. Pick and roll. Lucky he didn't cut call for travel. Backside rebound was there for Winley. 30 seconds. Hearn into the lane. And Blake Walsman able to pick it up. Gets it over to Cologne. Into the lane. Lefty. Oh. No. Rebound. Hartman. He's got eight of them. Got to finish on that. And here's Johnson again leading the fast break. There's a big three ball, too strong. Rebound, ball, an offensive rebound. No, Blake nice Walsman. Job. Walsman. 15 rebounds to go with 20 points. Walsman walls him off and gets the rebound. Kobe thought about the three, puts the ball on the floor, and he finishes. Kobe Brown. He's got four. Down to six, Rob. Two possession game, 417 to go. Johnson gets it over to Hearn. But every time CCU gets it close, Ohio answers. Hartman, turn around, hook, no, out of bounds, and it's going to be CCU ball. You know, I've noticed uh, this last time down that Kobe Brown, uh, when Johnson started to get to the top of the key, put a forearm onto him and said, no, you're not going to get by me this time. And that's what you're going to have to do is keep him out of that lane. Cologne out across the timeline. We're inside four minutes to go. Two possession game. Cologne, 14 footer, no. Backside rebound. Vaughn hands it off to Johnson. You gotta, out find, you gotta find Johnson. There you go. Kobe. Not, not time for Ohio Christian to start working the clock yet, but there's 18 to go on the shot clock. Yeah. If they score here, it's, we will start to see them to milk the clock. Oh, ran into a his own guy. Cologne now in a four-on-two. Got a four-on-two. Two. it over to Walsman. Count it and the bucket. Blake Walsman with 14 in the second half. He's got 22. Does the Eagle big man. He's looking for the old-fashioned three-point play now. And Winley now has four fouls as Hartman does as well. As Guy checks in, Winley's going to check out. And this is just the situation we talked about that could really get them in the bind. 
Chance to make this a one possession game. Blake Walsman, six of six in the second half. Nine of 11 for the game. He got it. Seven of seven in the second half. That's what you need from your leader and your All-American. You do, you do. And, uh, you know, uh, Pat White's been contributing contributing well. Uh, Preston Patterson has done a nice job on the boards. Missed a couple shots, but he's made a few key uh, key shots. And then Kobe Brown has done a nice job on Johnson the last couple times down, cutting off the lane. And uh, if they can continue to do this, they'll have a chance to come back and win this game. We talked about the slow start. Ohio Christian got off to start the game. And then they caught fire like a totally different team. <laughs> yes, they Now did. they're back into that team that we saw at the beginning of the yeah. game kind of slumping. And all of a sudden you look up and it's a three-point game yeah. in favor of uh, Ohio Christian. And at one point, just a couple moments ago, it was at 11 points. Yeah, for sure. 106.9 WZAA LP, Jeffersonville. As we had to get station identification for our listeners on 106.9, also thank you for listening to tuning into campusnation.com and for catching the live stream on uh, CCU Athletics. Uh, .com as well as we illuminate to you from Jill Rendell Court on the campus of Cincinnati Christian University alongside uh, Bill uh, Raybank. My name is Rob Roberts and uh, just like the women's game we're going to have a good finish here to the men's game. We are Rob and we really appreciate you guys having Campus Nation in today to do this game and uh, it's been what we've been promised is we're going to get two great basketball games out of this. Johnson out across the timeline, gets it over to Hearns, guarded by Cologne as they work it over to Johnson, over to Geig. Picks up his dribble, hands it off to Hearns. you got to get a hand out on this guy. Steps back for a three, dumps it into Hartman instead. Turn around, and they're going to count it. Lucky he didn't get called for three seconds. Yeah, because <laughs> he was there for five. Brown picks up his second, Hartman, but six in the second half. He's got nine for the game, does the big man. Well under his average. He's, uh, uh, we've done a, a pretty good job neutralizing. Of course, the four fouls has helped too. He averages 10, he has nine, and he hits his average. There it is. He averages 10 and 10, he's got 10 and eight. So he's pretty close. You are what the back of your baseball card says you are as yeah. we're inside. <laughs> Three minutes to go. Into the lane. Cologne, no. Rebound, Hartman. He's got nine of those, and Need- it's a two-possession game. Needed to really set something up on that. Johnson over to Hartman. No. Rebound, Hartman. Throws it back up. Rebound, wow. Walsman. He's got 16 big, of them. Big miss there by Hartman. Two big misses by Hartman. Abel steps into the three. He got it. The freshman steps into the three ball. He's got six, and it's a one-possession game. 79 Ohio Christian, 76 Cincinnati Christian. Oh. Brown on the floor gets over to Pat White, oh, and, and that's a foul on Monday. And that's, and that's his four. fourth. Yeah. So foul. If this if this would happen, to end up going to overtime. Rob, they're going to have some foul issues. They might have foul issues before we before reach we get overtime. to overtime, right? Three players with four fouls each, right? Mundy, Winley, Hartman, everybody else has one foul. Yeah, yeah, they're getting the lion's share of the calls here. Pat White misses another one. He is two of five in the second half. He's two of seven for the game. If you take away those five misses, CCU has the lead. Has Trying the lead. to make this a two-point game. He got it. Pat, guy Pat, like Pat White is better than three of eight from the charity stripe. Johnson yes. across the timeline, 2.15 to go. 79-77, visiting Trailblazers. The Eagles trying to come back. Hearns has it at the top. He's got 23 in this game. Johnson into the lane, drops it off for Hearns, being tagged by Kobe Brown. Five to go, deep three ball, too strong. Out of bounds, and it's going to be CCU ball. Yeah, it's lucky he wasn't over the back on that one. That's why I think they called it out of bounds yeah. on Ohio. Yeah. Sort of the give one, make, take Make one. up call there, yeah. Chance yeah, to tie or take the lead, 149 to go. I didn't think that was a great shot by Hearn as far as the selection. 
Cologne trying to get the offense going. 15 on the clock. Brown into the lane. Blocked Ooh. by Hartman. A vicious block by Hartman. CCU needs to get a defensive stop. Inside 90 seconds. Timeout Ohio Christian. 127 on the game clock. 24 on the shot clock. 79-77 reads our scoreboard. Well, really, they don't have – I mean, Cincinnati Christian isn't in a fouling situation here. So they just play the clock out, play good defense, get the ball back, they have a chance to come down, tie the game, or take the lead. Cincinnati Christian's had some chances. Pat White, of course, missed a charity shot. And then you see Kobe Brown uh, sometimes gets a little too aggressive uh, for his own good. And you saw that there. Uh, Hartman was able to come over and block the shot. Um, yeah, just a little out of control on that and probably not the – the, Especially with the second half that Walsman and Pat White are having. Yeah, yeah, just uh, not the best advice shot in the world. But, uh, you know, again, they're within two. Play some good defense, get the ball back. You got a chance to, at the very least, tie the game. And for Cincinnati Christian, it's going to come down. You need a stop here. 127 to go in the game. Really can't afford to give up anything more than a deuce here to keep it at a two-possession game. You're already down by two. Yep. But you'd like to give your chance, yourself a, a chance to tie and or take the lead, especially with the inside out of Walsman and White. Yeah. yeah. Walsman and White, the W&W crew here, has done a nice job tonight. and It's like a law firm of yeah. Walsman and White. <laughs> yeah, it is. If you have legal troubles, call Walsman and White. So let's see what happens here. Um, just need a good defensive stand. Hearn inbound it, gets it into Johnson, guarded by Kobe Brown. 124 to go. Ooh, nice almost. anticipation. Pat White almost got the steal. Mundy has it, working one on one. Hartman steps out. Gets it over to Windley on the turnaround. Oh. No. Foul, Abel. Abel asking what he did. And he, official told him what he did. Gotta get your hands up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't reach. Two big free throws coming up for Winley. He's got 12 in the game. He has a chance to make this a two-possession game. 72 seconds to go. 79-77. Make it 80. And let's see. Uh, and he got them both. Two big free throws there by Winley. 81-77, 70 seconds to go. Cologne across the timeline. Over to Kobe Brown. Trying to get it into Walsman on the block. Walsman now dribbles it back out. Over to Cologne. Kobe Brown has it. Table. Looking for Walsman. He's got it. Walsman into the lane. Over oh, to nice Pat save White by three. Walsman. He got it! Pat White triples. Timeout CCU with 46.3 to go. Cuts it to one. He's got 13 in the second half. He's got 26 for the game. Clutch play by Pat White. And, you know, what a, what a save by Walsman. I mean, he's falling out of bounds, has the presence of mind to see White, gets the ball out to White, and White nails the three. What, uh, you know, 81-80. What a what a game here. It's going to be a fantastic finish, just like the girls' game. 81-80, 46.3 to go. Pat White triples to make it a one-point game. Pat White with 26 big points, 13 in each half. Almost glad, if you're an Eagle fan, that they did not call that foul when Walsman yep. went up yep. and when Walsman was saving the ball away because it, it worked out. And yeah. CCU is able to get a stop here regardless of what Ohio Christian does. You have to believe Pat White's going to take the last shot for the Eagles. And, and you know, what a great game for Campus Nation to pick uh, for our game of the week this week as uh, Cincinnati Christian and Ohio Christian are going to play right down to the last second in a, a classic battle here. A good one. It's going to come down to the end, but unfortunately for the men, uh, men Eagles, they've had a couple heartbreaking losses in the final minutes, including one at, at Kentucky Christian they'd love to have back. But once again, it's a young team, and it's a process of learning how to win, and that team's learning how. And if they're able to come back from an 11-point second-half deficit and pull this game out, 
This could be the signature win for Coach Miller's squad yes. to start rebuilding CCU into the power that it once was. And as Johnson takes it on Brown, he got it. And, you know, we've said it to a point where people are probably tired of hearing it, but Johnson's just been allowed to get too deep into the lane. White for oh. the tie. Oh. Rims in and out. Patterson throws it up. No rebound. Hartman. White, that ball was halfway down, rimmed out. Yep. And yep. what, 25 seconds to go, which is simple. Make free throws, you're going to win. Yep. But they're also in the front end of a one and one. Which was a good foul by Walsman on that. I mean, he fouled quickly. It's a one and one. And if uh, they miss, you still are no worse than one shot away from tying the ball game. Hartman at the line, misses it. Rebound, Pat White. 25 seconds to go. CCU can tie the game. Yeah. And they're going to get a timeout with 20.6 seconds to go. So you got to set it up for the three here. And, and if you happen to do it with any time remaining, you got to remember to get back and play defense because we have seen that Ohio Christian is going to push the ball. It's going to be interesting here in the final shot. You know you want Pat White to take the shot, but is it one of those, do you use him as a decoy to free up uh, Kobe Brown, to free up Abel, to free up Walsman? You have different it, options it, here for Coach Miller. Well, let me ask you this, Rob. Um, is Walsman a three-point threat? Yes, he is. So if he's a three-point threat, obviously I think the attention is going to be on Pat White. I'd set something up to get Walsman in the corner, get the ball to him, and let him have a shot at it. They're both going to attract that double team, and that's where the Kobe Brown and, and Tim Abel kind of kind of come into play because they might get a, a, a more open shot, not saying that Walsman and Pat White can't. Let me ask you this. If they get an easy bucket, do you take the yes. two? Always foul, take the easy two. Foul quick. Yep. And, and hope that they split them. And here's why, because they're still in the one-and-one. One. Right. You just saw Hartman miss the front end of a one-and-one. One. Right. So you you got to take that chance. And, and if they make two, it's still a three-point game. You haven't lost anything. And Hartman will be the would obviously be the guy you want to foul since he missed the last shot at the line. So uh, we'll see how it plays it's, out. It's easier to make free throws at the beginning of a game than it is with 20.6 seconds to go. And you know the game's on the line. CCU and ball inbounding it right in front of the crowd. Cologne has it. Blake Walsman steps out. Cologne to the lane. Misses the layup. Abel. Oh! They called the bucket on the floor by um, Tim Abel. They called the foul on that. He's got a chance to tie the game up. Wow. That's all you can say is wow. Tim Abel. Hartman's gone. That's his fifth. Yeah. And and Tim Abel followed hard on that. I mean, nice job. Didn't give up on it. Uh, got a little roll around the rim and dropped in. Abel with one of the most improbable three-point plays, but he has to make the free throw first. Yes, yes. And that's a lane violation yes, if he misses it. And CCU is going to get another chance at it. Thank, thank, uh, thank goodness for Winley's uh, foot being too quick there. We shall see. Abel at the line. He's going to get a second chance. Can he make the most of the opportunity? 13.8 seconds to go. The freshman out of Indiana. Got it. We're got, to, got to pick up the ball right away here. Cannot let him get too deep. Timeout on the floor with 13.8 seconds to go. Timeout, Ohio Christian. Yeah, you know, it's a chess match at this point. You know, you move the pieces, hope you get the best uh, best lineup out there. But we know one thing is that for Ohio Christian, it will not include uh, Hartman. Which is, we've talked about the, the both sides of that, but he did play very nice here in the last few few minutes. Finished the game with 10 points, 11 rebounds, right at his average. And, and it, you know, he got foul trouble with Winley, too. Yeah, no, I agree. And I would say the thing with uh, with Hartman is, you know, in the last, he's really been a factor in the last five or six minutes where he was pretty much a non-contributor for the, the bigger part of the game. 
And for CCU, you just got to play solid defense. I, I mean, Ohio Christian can literally hold for the final shot. Now they just need to decide if they want to apply pressure and make them work uh, more time off the clock, or do you sit back, play good defense, maybe they shoot earlier than you, in, you anticipate, and then you get a shot? Well, they only need a two. You know, I think that changes the whole philosophy here. And with the penetration that they've got, uh, you know, they've got to be uh, – Cincinnati Christian's got to be really careful and pick up the ball and not let them get any lanes. Johnson's holding for the final shot. We're at three. We're at two. At the buzzer, no. They wanted a foul call. They're not going to get it. And what you guys are going to get is called bonus basketball. <laughs> a little overtime here at Cincinnati Christian at the Jin, Jill Rendell Court. Nine. You know, I wanted to ask you, Rob, I noticed the national championship banners up here. Yep. Uh, any connections within the program still of people that were involved with those teams? No, up, up, the way it was, because uh, I've asked the same thing, and this team's got a very rich uh, basketball uh, uh, tradition. I mean, going back to, to the late uh, 2008 uh, regional championships in 01, 02, uh, 08, uh, just, this team is a year removed away from being a conference champion in 2014-2016, and, mm -hmm. and Coach Miller's looking to get them back to that level. Uh, I mean, this team's won eight conference championships since uh, eight regional titles since 1981. So this has a, a good basketball tradition, and is, uh, as Jared uh, uh, has uh, uh, Payne has told me, the, uh, the SID here, uh, when this place had it rocking, this place you couldn't not get a ticket here. Uh, due to the the amount of success that this team had, Program this was up. the hottest ticket to get. You could not get a, get a seat in in this facility. So, trying to build the the program back to the to the glory, the glory days. days of the Eagles. Walsman to jump yep. against Winley. Walsman wins the jump. Cologne has it. CCU is looking for their first lead since early in the game. When they led by seven points. Abel with the big three-point play. He has it. He's got nine. Dumping it into Walls, oh. man. He got it. No, they're going to say foul on the floor, and that's it. So Winley's win done. And that's a huge game changer. I, I don't see how, at this point, how Ohio Christian can can address this. Uh, you know, they've lost their two best big guys, and um, – I would expect we're going to see a steady dose of uh, Blake Walsman here in this overtime period. You should see a, a plenty of dose no matter what. He's got 15 in the second half, 23 for the game. He's got 16 rebounds, and he misses the first. That's his first miss of the second half. He was 7 of 8. And still plenty of time, 444 to go in overtime. And he got the second. He's got 16 and a half, 24 for the game. CCU with their first lead. Hearn swings it over to Johnson. Ball faked into the lane. Kicks it over to Vaughn. And he goes up and under, and he got it. Nice play by Vaughn. Vaughn's first two of the night. He averages six. That's her 10th lead chain. A little alley-oop and under. The Pat White into the lane. No rebound. Blake Walsman. He got it. And Walsman gives the Eagles the lead again. Blake Walsman showing why he's an All-American. CCU by one. Vaughn has it, swings it over to Geig. Hands off to Mundy. Thought about the three and said swings it over to Hearn. Hearn's been kind of quiet the last couple he, minutes. He has. He's got 23. Oh. He's got 25. And just as you say that, Rob, he takes it to the hole. As Cologne gets his third. Yeah. That's our 12th lead change of the game, 87-86. Ohio Christian on top of Cincinnati Christian. Hearns trying to complete an old-fashioned three-pointer here. And Hearns gets it. Hey, Rick. He's got 26 for the game. Says that the battery is running low. Cologne has it over to Abel. Abel over to Pat White. And now Gog's going to get a foul. And Blake Walsman's going to go to the line to shoot two. Pretty soon all the big guys will be gone. 
He's got a chance to tie this game up with 3.49 to go. Okay. Walsman gets ready. First one, just short. Ooh. Eight of ten in the line in the second half. Chance to make it to a one-point game. 3.49 to go in overtime. 88-86. Make it 88-87. Walsman with 27.17 rebounds. Nice, nice night. Hearns into the lane. He oh. got it. And it he that young man's been unreal tonight, too. He's got 20. He's got 16 in the second half. Yeah. 15 in the second half. So, seen some great individual performances. White, Walsman, Hearn. I mean, we've seen some great, great uh, Johnson. Great individual performances tonight, Rob. Well, Walsman picks up his second on offensive foul. Coach Miller not happy about that call. His team trails by three with 3.29 to go. Johnson out across the timeline, hands it off to Vons. They work the weave out top, Hearn. Hearn coming off the screen of Guy, getting in the lane. He traveled. He should have, yeah, yeah. He took that Euro step and yeah. he cut it back in. He didn't <laughs> let it Euro go. Euro step, I like that. So, Walsman inbounds it. Cologne with 3.14 to go. Still a one possession game. Ohio Christian 90. Cincinnati Christian 87. 3.07 to go in overtime. Pat White puts it on the floor into the lane on Vaughn. Oh, down He's hard. He's to shoot two. And for Vaughn, that's his third. Yeah. But you got to make these. Pat White. Yeah. Great ball player with three of eight at the line. He's going to cut it. I, you know, and I would say, you know, uh, the Ohio or Cincinnati Christians done a great job taking the ball to the hole. They're just not capitalizing on the freebies here. Those five misses were the difference between going to overtime and not going to overtime. Exactly. Gets this one. Now we'll four of seven in the second half, four of nine for the game. He got them both. Those are two biggies. It's a one-point game, 3.05 to go. Kobe Brown needs to get a body on Johnson there. Johnson in the lane, kicks over to Vaughn, fakes the three, traveled. Ooh. As the official just warned, uh, I don't know if he's warning Vaughn or Blake Walsman, but they called the travel. Yeah, yeah. Something was going on there. He wasn't happy with whatever he was saying. <laughs> oh, no, no, he wasn't. Not at all. Cincinnati Christian with the chance to take the lead. We've already had 12 lead changes. Pat White into the lane. Into puts the hole. Up and has it blocked. Rebound Blake Walsman. And there's going to be a foul on the floor. And they're just not going to give Walsman an easy one tonight. You know, it's just. And for Monday, that, he's done. Well, that's the third player for Ohio Christian. That's, dropping uh, like flies. They're dropping like flies. I mean, if this goes to another overtime, I they won't be, have. They'll be playing I, four guys. They'll be like watching uh, University of Minnesota when they played that game. When they played, uh, I forget who they were playing. They finished with four. Yeah, there guys. was only four guys on the floor. Yeah, oh, it was Alabama. And Alabama almost won the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They might have to ask a couple of the girls to go put their unis back on to well, finish. Actually, one of the CCU cheerleaders, uh, Norton, uh, is a cheerleader. Played number 10 and uh, played that last game. Yeah, as, uh, Blake Walsman gets another one. I might have to throw her in there. <laughs> <laughs> and we're tied for the seventh time tonight. We've had 12 lead changes. Walsman to give the lead. He got it. Two thirty nine to go. Here come the Trailblazers. Johnson over to Woods, over to Hearn. Hearn, three ball. Got it again. <laughs> he, he has been unreal. He's got 19 in the second half. He's got 31 for the game. Un Two point lead. Unreal performance. Oh, Brown over to Abel for the lead. He oh, got fouled. that should My be Geig. three shots there. Guy fouls him. That's his second, and Abel's going to go for three. 
at the line. And this one is the least common way to get a three-pointer. Or most unlikely, I guess. Big difference. You're shooting three free throws at 2.11 to go in overtime. And yep. You're down by two. The yep. freshman short arms the first one. He's got nine points. He's got six in the second half. He's Looking got- for to get two big points here. This is the first two. Can make this a one-point game, though. He's able to put in the last one. There's still a lot of time to go. 2-11. Oh, yeah. Yep, for sure. 2-11 remaining in the first overtime. Abel got the last. He's 2-4 at the line. Apparently caught a, caught an elbow or something to the jaw, it looks like. 2-11 to go. Ohio Christian brings the ball up the court with Johnson as they lead 93-92. Yeah, Kobe Brown's done a much better job in the last five, six minutes on Johnson. Ooh, oh, 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 yeah, big right. play, Brown big play. on the floor, gives it over to Cologne. CCU has a chance to take the lead. Nice job by Brown not to roll with the ball, got the ball Kobe out of his... for three. He oh, got yeah! Kobe Brown! Wow. The 15th lead change of the night gives the Eagles a two-point lead. Woods into the lane, drops it back wide open, dunk for Hennon. Nice play there by Ohio Christian. He has, he averages two, he has two. <laughs> yes. He looks like he should be about a sophomore in high school too. Y- yes, the baby face killer. I bet he's not shaving yet. <laughs> oh. 119 to go, 95. 95. Just get the two-pointer. Get Walsman it. Walsman got it. Nice. You know, that's what you need to do. Get the lead. Force, Put, force them to make points. Exactly. Put the pressure on them now. Hearn spin move in the lane. No oh. rebound. Blake Walsman. He's got 19 rebounds. Now the shoe's on the other foot for Ohio Christian. They're going to have to decide. How long will they go before they foul? 31 points. 19 rebounds for Walsman. Kobe Brown. Oh! Kobe again! Maybe the biggest five points of the night. It's a four-point lead. 30 seconds to go. Hearn for three. No! Rebound Wood. Tries to save. He stepped out of bounds. And it's going to be Eagle Basketball with 25 seconds to go. They have a four-point lead. You make your free throws. You pick up win number nine. And somebody's going to put them on the century mark here, Rob. We talked about the CCU team scores 85 points a game. Yep. They were just too shy of that in regulation. Yep. Now they... uh, the inbounds. You got to inbound it first. Oh. So. They called a timeout. I thought they were going to get a dead ball foul along yeah. the far side because Cologne was pushed. Yeah. But Coach Miller called a timeout. Still 25 seconds to go. Right. Remember, Walsman cannot move on the baseline because that was a dead ball out of bounds. So he's not allowed to move. Right. 99-95, 10 or uh, 30 seconds or uh, 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds to go. They put up a new time and they count down the clock here for for your timeout. So when you look up, like, hey, somebody added 30 <laughs> seconds to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, we're gonna get one last ad in here. Begin the next step of your life at Ohio Christian University one of the nation's fastest growing nonprofit universities. Earn an accredited associate, bachelor, or master's degree entirely online or attend class once a week at one of 11 convenient locations. Programs range from business and human services to IT and RN to BSN and more. Call today, 855-OCU-GRAD or on the web at enroll.ohiochristian.edu. 
And welcome back to the broadcast booth alongside Bill Ramick. My name is Rob Roberts. We're in overtime here at Jill Rendell Court on the campus of Cincinnati Christian University as the Home Eagles currently hold a 99-95 lead over the Ohio Christian University Trailblazers. Yep. It's been a doozy both games tonight. I, I was going to say, and actually both the, the games kind of mirrored each other with the team that was behind uh, the whole game came back to win. They so let's hope this is the situation here. Brown has it poke checked away, but with 21 seconds to go, it's going to stay right here. Yeah, I, I think at this point you want to send a runner down towards the basket just to yep. clear this out. Yeah, Walls, and in. he had a guy able to get an inbounds to Pat White, and he is going to be fouled by Vicks, and I think he's just in there to foul people. Yeah, he is. And Pat White has kind of struggled tonight at the line. So, 20 seconds to go. you got to make at least one of these. Yeah. I guess if you're looking at it from the, the guy you'd want to send to the line right now, he might be the one. White with 15 in the second half, 28 for the game. Misses the first. And still struggling from the line. I mean, defensively, if you're Cincinnati Christian, you just defend that three-point line. They want to take it in for two. Let them take it to two. Johnson's what he's trying to do. Throws this one up. No. Blake Walsman with the man's rebound. Yes, indeed. 20 rebounds to go along with 31 points. Pretty good night. Say he earned his paycheck tonight, Rob. 31 points, 20 rebounds. Nice job. Nice job. And, you know, we kind of had alluded to the fact that the big man trouble could lead to a big night tonight for for Blake, and he hasn't he failed it. to deliver. Okay, let's see what they decide to do here. And they probably won't do anything on defense. This oh. is the second one comes through, and they're going to get a, and that's going to be a bad foul on Blake Walsman. Yeah. And that's going to give them a chance to score points without the clock moving. Yep. And Walsman has four. Yeah. When you get to this point of the game, everybody's starting to get into foul trouble. Hearns gets the first. Tell you what, if Hearns had a little more time, Rob, he might be pushing that 40 tonight. He's got 20 in the second half. He's got 32. He's got 33. I'd just get the ball down the floor. Yeah, there you go. That's what he's doing. Looking for Pat Wright on a home run ball, trying to run out the clock, and now he's going to get fouled with 7.4 seconds to go as Hearns picks up the foul. Be a good time for Pat to break out of that slump. If he drops, uh, he drops one in here, Rob, I feel pretty good about this. White's first, and he got it. And that's going to be pretty tough now for Ohio Christian to uh, put that kind of number together. And he misses the second. And Johnson at the buzzer, no. And Cincinnati Christian comes back from an 11-point deficit for an impressive 102-97 victory. Yeah, good game, good game. See man. Nice 19 point. Yeah, for sure. Overtime period is the Eagles get an impressive win at home. Pat White with 30 and Walsman 31 points and 20 rebounds. Yeah, it was uh, impressive. Um, You know, Pat White did a great job shooting there. I mean, he had a stretch there that he was just completely on fire. And then, of course, uh, you know, Walsman, you expect to get what you get out of him, and, and we got that. And um, really hung in there and, and um, 
never crumbled during that whole thing. Came back, tied the game, and, of course, in overtime won it. And then Hearns and uh, Johnson on the other side. Hearns with 33, 21 in the second half, and then uh, Johnson, 15 in the first half, 10 in the second. I mean, those two guys really carried this Trailblazer team. <laughs> they, uh, you know, they just had streaks in that game where every time they come down, they threw it up, it was going in. And, uh, you know, just great personal performances. Really exciting game and uh, a big win for Cincinnati Christian at this point of the year. You know, helping, as you said, to mature and bring those parts together to make a run at a championship. And we're going to get Blake Walsman and Coach Miller up here and uh, have a little chat with Mr. 31 and 20. Yeah, nice job. And... Um, and, you know, Ohio Christian, I believe they came in here with a 6 and 10. They were 6 and 11. They're going to come out six of here 6 and 12. But they played very well. That's not a bad basketball team. They, no. they got scores, and uh, that, that's a team that's not that far away. Um, they just was, was a bad matchup in regards to how CCU, especially with, with the way Patterson and uh, Walsman are able to move. Thanks move with the ball uh, away from the bucket, and that kind of gave Ohio Christian some fits there in the middle, I think. It did, and, uh, you know, they've got no uh, you know, they've got no reason to hang their head. Uh, they came in here uh, on the road, played a great game in overtime, and um, I'm sure Coach Stockman will go back and same thing. as it, They'll take a look at where they could have improved and what they could have done to win the, uh, the basketball game. Very solid effort, though, by CC. you got to give them credit. They sort of did what to the Ohio Christian men, what the Ohio Christian women did to the CCU women, able to race that late uh, second half uh, deficit and able to pull out a, a win. And you have to wonder, and hopefully Coach Miller joins us here in just a second, and we can ask him, what does a win like this do for a team, a young team like this, where they're able to battle back uh, and then just put the game away? They really took a big step in that process. Well, you know, they close in on that 500 mark. Um, and, you know, down the stretch here as they get into the you know the last third of the season, uh, there's no reason why you can't go on a win streak and, uh, you know, roll perhaps get a tournament bid and roll into the tournament on a, on a heater. Especially when you get in a conference tournament, you know how those teams play. And if you can get a favorable matchup, you finish higher in the conference, you're going to get a more favorable uh, matchup, and then you can just set yourself up for, for a good tourney run. All of a sudden, next thing you know, you're in the national tournament. That's, and that's, you know, that's what it's all about is getting the berth. You get the berth, the second season starts, and anything can happen at that point. All you need is a chance, and that's exactly what uh, this team looks for. But any time that you have the uh, um, the, the combo of, of Pat White and, and uh, Walsman and uh, Kobe Brown, I mean, you have a chance to do some damage. And right here is uh, Coach Miller. As uh, we'll join, grab him and Blake Walsman real quick before we get you guys out of here, and uh, has to be a very, uh, very happy group. Yeah. Um, as we grab the extra set, headset. Yep. Always player first. And Blake, uh, 31 points, 20 rebounds. Uh, not just a whole home uh, Tuesday night. Oh uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> good win. Uh, good. Uh, good way to grind it out um we've been a couple uh situations like this uh earlier in the season and we weren't able to uh pull it out but um just a little perseverance and uh we pulled it out second half you had uh 23 points and uh 11 rebounds you really looked like you wanted to take the game over and assert yourself what was the difference for you mentally in that second half um i don't think there really was uh any difference um we just coached her up some good plays uh my teammates looked for me and i was able to um finish the play but um Really, it all started on the defensive end, I thought. Um, it looked like we wanted it more on the, on the uh, defensive end in the second half versus uh, the first half. But I'm um, just, you know, just glad to uh, get a win, big win in the conference. Uh, I think that puts us uh, above 500 in the conference, which yep. is huge. Speaking of that, what does a win like this do for you guys move, moving forward? Because uh, you guys have had some tough losses like the one yeah. at Kentucky Christian. But this yeah. time you guys were able to find a way to win. What does this do for you guys? Um, I think it just, um, as you know, we're a really young team. Um, I think um, just like situations like this only makes us uh, get better and like grows us as a team. Um, you can, like you can do all you want in practice, but uh, really situations like this you can only you can only um, get better from it in games. And uh, I thought we did a good job. 
Well, you guys got a big one Saturday, so get mm-hmm. some rest, get your legs back under you, and uh, we'll interrogate uh, your coach. Yep, so appreciate it. it. Thanks. Good, Good game play. tonight. Thanks. It was a uh, a tale of uh, really. It was almost three games in one as, as you guys you came out quick, and then you had that slow end of the half. They you you're able to build up a seven point lead. They come back, they take the lead, and it looked like they were kind of getting ready to put you away. They headed out to eleven. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden you started coming back. What was the difference uh, from your point of view? You know what, uh, the the difference, you know, we started a different lineup tonight, and so, you know, we knew that we would come out. We'd come out hot. We'd come out firing all cylinders because we got a couple guys that this is their first chance. And so once that emotional energy is gone, and we, we've talked about it before, you know, the Indiana Wesleyan game, you know, the emotional energy, it, it's gone at some point. And so, you know, they, they made a good run. They Man, they shoot the ball well. And, and we talked about that, you know. They shoot 32 threes a game tonight. They shot 28, um, so we ran them off the line a little bit better in the second half. But our guys responded really well. You know, perseverance is a big word for this team. You know, are you tough enough mentally? Are you tough enough physically? Are we smart enough to persevere through situations like this? And and our team, like if you, you saw us early in the year, we would have not have won, we would not have won this game earlier in the year. But we've been there a little bit. Like Blake said, the experience is growing. So overall, very pleased. I mean. If you look at the way Johnson ran that team for me at 25 points, and then the second half that Hearn had for him, he had uh, 21 in the second half. He had 33 uh, uh, for the game. But you talked about that adversity. I mean, the way you were able to slow down those guards at the end of the game, they did nothing in, in overtime, and you guys were able to pick up a big W because of that, of that defense that Blake talked about at yep. the end. Yep, for sure. And, you know, Patrick White, yeah, he scored 32 points. Yeah, he's averaging about 20 a game. But – a lot of times when he steps on the court, he's the best athlete on the floor. And I thought the same thing was tonight. And, you know, we, we threw a couple different guys at her. You know, he's a heck of a player. He's averaging 21 a game in conference play. And I thought Pat really, really locked down, did a good job on him. I thought Kobe down the stretch did a great job keeping Johnson in front of him. Johnson's a big, thick, physical guard. Yeah, and I was going to say that, Coach. The one thing we talked about is when Johnson would get running, he would get so deep down into the key and kick the ball out. Yep. I noticed that Kobe was getting – you know, I called it a forearm. He was shielding him. Mm-hmm. He wasn't letting him penetrate, yep. and that changed Ohio Christians' yep. whole approach. And that was that was one thing that we had to do. We had Pat on Hearn, and we had Christian Cologne on ten. And you know, no offense to Christian, but he, you know, he's, he couldn't he handle. Can't, him. He can't keep him out. Yeah. You know, I mean, he's yeah. a man. He's a grown man. Low center gravity. He's strong. Yeah. So we yeah. made that switch. Luckily, it paid off, and then we were able to get. Pat's legs a little fresh so we could finish with right. him on three. Right. Yeah. That was a great move, Coach. And then on the other end, you had that duo of uh, Hartman and Winley uh, down down below. You were able to get Hartman in, in early in early foul trouble, which really it almost kind of benefited them because Hartman really can't match up with any yeah. of your bigs. It was almost like the Indiana Westland game Correct. where Blake was just pulling everybody out. Nobody yep. can guard that guy, and Winley's a little bit more athletic. But you guys were able to make that adjustment in the second half. Yeah, we were, and that, that was the main thing that we talked about at halftime is that, first of all, that single-side ball screen was killing us with 32. And then when he went out of the game, we're like, oh, good, you know, we don't have to guard that anymore. But, man, they put five shooters out there, and they can all stretch the floor. They're long. So yeah, we we made some adjustments at halftime. We didn't we didn't necessarily execute them until about the last five minutes. <laughs> but I would rather execute the last five minutes than the first five minutes. Yeah. And, and then oh. it looked like in the first half because Blake Wallsman he comes out and and uh, we've talked about this during our broadcast. He he got a quick eight points. He had eight mm-hmm. points, eight rebounds right off. And then they kind of went away from him. And he got a couple frustration fouls, yep. but he fought his way through through it mentally. They had to be a big step for him. Yeah, and, and you know what? And when we. We go to Blake early. I mean, any team that's going to watch our film is going to say, oh, man, you know, they go to Blake Walsman early. Right. Well, you know what? We're going to continue to go to Blake Walsman early. You know, he's, he's a really good player, you know, and that lets the other guys let the game come to them. Right. And that's the biggest thing is he can take that load. And then now we, we've got to continue to go back to him. We, we can't go away from what's working. You know, you got to keep going to the well. So Blake, heck of a game, you know. Not very often um, you see somebody with 32 points on 10 shots from the field. Uh, you know, Coach, uh, I think Blake – when he got Winley to follow him on that one that put him out of the game, yep. we had talked when he started to get in foul trouble, mm-hmm. what was going to be the response by Ohio Christian. Right. Now you've got your, both your bigs out, and you've got to stop Blake, and that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, and we, we ran, I believe it was three or four sets in a row, right to Blake down low, different reads off of him. Right. Our, guy, our guards did a great job throwing it into the post, you know, pass fake, bounce pass, or, you know, pass low, go over the top. Right. And then – they had to change up how they were doubling because of our pro guard cutting through. 
So, you know, our guards did a great job getting it to him. Blake, heck of a job finishing. Yep. And then have you ever seen a play like Tim Abel made at the end of regulation? You don't see too many often three-point putback plays no. to get that game into overtime. <laughs> no. and then the lane violation, but, hey, at the end of the day, uh, W's a W. But that, it was an interesting play. That is just perfect for how, how our season's <laughs> going at this point in some of our close games that we've had. I mean, I couldn't draw that up. You know, a, a great rider couldn't draw up what happened out there. But, you know, a freshman stepping up and making that play and then, you know, missing a, a clutch free throw like that and all of a sudden the ref says, hey, you know, you got to shoot that one again yep. to step up and be able to knock that one out. I know the one thing Pat White's going to be disappointed. 7 of 14 at the free throw line and – Pat White's not going to go seven for fourteen too many nights, um, no. and then you also saw it from you know twenty six of forty as a team overall, uh, fifteen of twenty that was from Blake, but uh, but that's one Pat like. But other than that, Pat White was lights out tonight. You know yeah. what, Pat is like we said, he's the best athlete on the floor, but he's also a great shooter. I mean, three of six from the field or from three. You know, I mean, you've got to guard him out there, but he's so yeah. quick and you know, and his his shot fakes and his jab steps are kind of awkward and they throw you off yeah. balance and then he's just gone. And just step by. Yep. Yeah. No uh, doubt about it. Joking with the refs, you know, late in the game, we kept going one and two, one and two. And I told the refs, I was like, man, it's really unfortunate when your two leading scorers and best players are your worst free throw shooters. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so hopefully we'll, we'll get that one changed and, we know, we're, yeah. we're just trying to be really positive and with then them bef- right now. Before we get you out of here, like, well, I, like what we asked Blake, what does a young team, you get a win like this, you always want to be peaking going into February, yep. getting ready for that conference tournament. Now you got a winning record in conference. Yep. You're able to get a better draw in the conference tournament. Does it, is this the win, your signature win, in regards to that this is the one that gets you over the hump, gets them to believe, and it takes you to that, that upper level? I mean, we see the banners. We know what you guys have done here. Mm-hmm. Is this that, that first big, big, huge building block, or you, is it too early? Um, I hope it. I hope this isn't it right now. I don't want to look back and say that Ohio Christian win was, <laughs> you know, that was, that <laughs> was it, fellas. But that I meant that was the yeah, first yeah. block. No, exactly. Um I hope it is. You know, our guys, we've actually, um, we're going to go really, really light tomorrow. We had a couple guys play about 40 minutes. Blake was over. Pat was 40. Um, so we're going to go light tomorrow. But we really need to focus on what we're doing. You know, we got the number three team in the nation yep. coming in on Saturday. Our guys have the tendency to rise to the occasion. You know, we did that against Indiana Wesleyan. Right. You know, we've played really good, you know, Asbury. We've played really good teams really well. So I'm hoping that this one will build some more confidence. You know, we'll be ready to go on Saturday. But we got to get our legs back under us first. We'll yep. be uh... – Nice electric atmosphere like it was against Indiana Wesleyan. I hope so. This time, hopefully, a uh, different outcome. One point better for the good guys. Yeah, we yeah. just we'll take one more point than than uh, IU East, but we'll see how we'll see what happens. All right, good luck yeah. Saturday, Thank Coach. You, Coach, right, thanks thank for congratulations. Working. Appreciate it. Yep. A right, good win tonight there for uh, Coach Miller and uh, CCU, and uh, it was a it was a good good night of basketball. Yeah, Rob, I I was impressed. Uh, you know, the girl, as we said, it was kind of a flip script with both games, but. Uh, what a night for the spectators to come out and watch basketball because it was some great basketball. It was a good night of basketball. At first it saw the women of Ohio Christian knock off CCU Christian women 56-53. And then in the men's game it saw CCU go into overtime and knock off Ohio Christian 102-95. to For my sidekick tonight, Bill uh, Rayback, and for Wes Kidler and everybody else at SportsNation.com and 106.9. And thank you for everybody to also tuning in on CCUAthletics.com. My name is Rob Roberts. Until next time, good night, everybody. Well, thanks, Rob, for having us.